Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You should be happy. She's got a kinder heart than I do. Although that's really not saying much, if I'm honest. Alright, let's see. Stream should be going up here in a sec. There we go. We're live. Welcome to the stream. I'm here with Fuka. Hello. And I'm here to kick his ass in Stellaris. No. We're going to play for a few hours, and we'll see how things go. Um, and yeah. <laughs> I am playing the amazing... Uh, Pelifista Peace Corps. And drinking a coffee so massive that it's, you know, gonna probably have me wired for hours. So, alright. Uh, we have an agenda set up. I'll unpause the game once we've both got some stuff going. I really think they should still start you with ex the automatic exploration in this game, but of course they still don't. Alright. Let's get some stuff moving. All the systems around me surveyed. God, to love this game. I still, I mean, I'm amazed at how much work they've put into this game still. Now, if they could put this much detail and effort into uh, Imperator, that'd be fucking fantastic. Yeah, that's a dead game to begin with. No I am hope. still pissed about that, thank you. That is some bullshit. <laughs> I do not deserve the fact. I paid top dollar for that game, and if they don't do anything <laughs> for it, I'm gonna be so angry. All right. So, oh whoa, that's interesting. Okay. Um. All right. So I've already got. Oh great. Industrial wasteland. Industrial wasteland and sprawling slums. How we are a nature-based people? How do we have industrial wastelands already? God damn it. Ooh. Okay. Automate colony is automatically. Or it is being developed manually. Oh, wow, that's new. So you can now actually design or auto uh, design your colony. And you can set designations for the colony as well. Oh, and you can do sectors now. Oh, that's badass. Wow. <laughs> They've changed a bit again. It looks like they're trying to go back to their old roots uh, some more. All right. You ready for me to unpause? Yep. Okay. All right. I'm gonna turn it up to fastest. We'll see. Oh, I think I have to turn it down too. There we go. All right. I've got it on fast. I think we should be good. Once you're up here, we won't have to deal with that as much, but that's okay. Oh yeah. Make sure you know your Steam information and your Discord information for when you come up, so that way I can get you on my laptop and you can play on that. Okay. I don't have a mouse. Well, I have a mouse lying around somewhere. I just have to find one. That you can use and then you can use my laptop because that thing's more powerful than yours <laughs> no offense but I mean, <laughs> it helps when you're you know your computers a little bit more oh and, i already know my, comp my computer's shit uh-huh well i bought this thing for school but it should work on with stolars and like ck2 stuff and that way you can also log into discord for dnd night um, and mm -hmm. use it, uh, and then you'll just use D&D uh, &D Beyond through my account. Um, okay. So you, you can look at people's shit, but I'm going to hope you don't. <laughs> so, and then, yeah, you can do that while I sit and chill and get everything going. Alright, so... Uh, cannot build this much. Wait, what? Oh, 200. Okay. Uh, but yeah. And then that way we can do D&D, &D, no problem. Since I have access to both accounts, it should work out well. So what else did they change? Let's see, they've got claims, factions, ship design, edicts, markets. I know they said they that there's the uh, artifacts. Do we get that in this version? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, traditions and relics. Oh, okay, so that's where they put the relics. Yeah, there's like a ship apparently that you can get a uh, Fuka that's considered a gigantic cl Titan class for the uh, in the DLC if you Jesus. find it. So, you know, and apparently it's a 6K on its own. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I have to. I'm gonna cancel Lily because I don't want to show. Um. Uh -huh. 
think she has my Twitch thing. I hope not. Um, shit. What's no, good? you never gave it to her. No, not Rachel. Rachel has it. I'm talking about Lily. <laughs> um. Lily. Yeah, one? the one that I uh, got turned down because I don't moan loud enough. That one. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Um. Do do one sec. Okay. Plus, I really don't want to deal with her. I'll be honest anymore. Uh, I'm a little. I'm still pissed about that whole situation. Okay. Um, oh God. Alright, shipyard, so I'm gonna build a second science ship, get that moving. Yeah, it's just not worth dealing with, honestly. Ugh. Sweet. Alright. I don't know what her. Yeah. Oh well. If she's watching, she's watching. I mean, I told her I was gaming with you all day today, so. And that's how it go. Um, alright. Oh, God. I'm still sore from shoulder day. Dude, this morning I got in there, and I, was, I wasn't I was doing too bad in my shoulder press. I was hitting about 55 for my 30 rep, which isn't too terrible. But when I went from that to jumping over and doing um, my, uh, what's it called, uh, the dumbbell press. Oh, God, that hurts so much. I was dead by the end of that. Research speed, uh, all right, well, that's fine. We'll just recruit you and have you survey, survey, and survey. Just get you going that way. So, no, plus, you know, I don't know if Rachel's the jealous type. I just don't want a chance to deal with that. I don't think she is, but you know. A wise man once told me, <laughs> better to be safe than sorry. I mean, you could ask. I could, but honestly, I just don't want to deal with Lily anyways. I mean, she's a very nice girl and everything, but I figured gaming, I wanted to game anyways with you, man. I feel like I haven't been paying attention to my friends enough here, so. <sighs> and it is what it is. She's a nice girl, but... I haven't, like I said, I haven't played with you guys enough recently, hung out, you know. And no point in slacking off on the guys I chill with constantly. <sighs> now to relax until I find a decent dig site. What? Oh yeah, you, so with the relics update, we get dig sites, so that's how you develop everything. Oh, I, oh, I thought that. <laughs> what? What'd you That's think? What you said. Oh, what'd you, what said. you think I said? <laughs> Do you think I said dick sight? <laughs> yes. No, Fuka, I'm not always thinking about sex. It might be 90% of the time, but it's not all the time. Look, <laughs> uh -huh. I just misinterpreted what you just said. Yeah, yeah, I, ca I caught that. <sighs> God damn it. Can I turn that on? Ooh. Nope, let's not do that. We'll turn that on later when I don't want to deal with anything. I do like that they've automated building these things. That will help so much with this in the future. Um, I really don't need Unity that bad, and I don't want to lose any more of that. Ooh, Continental World. Now I forget, does that mean I have an 80% chance to uh, th take the planet? I can never recall. Alright. Yeah, I look forward to having you out here so that way when we play Stellaris, the connection is uh, can go on fastest. Because if it can't, I'm going to be rather upset since you'll be literally two, two feet away from me. <laughs> so. Anomaly found. Ooh, what did we find? A colossal impact crater hits uh, hints that something big collided with the surface. Sure, let's find out what that is. Maybe I'll have found the 6k fleet already, playing as a pacifist. Wouldn't that be great? 
fucking sit back. Oh yeah, by the way, where are you, roughly? Like, any, like, notable landmarks? Uh, well, I mean, like, give me a direction. I'm southwest of the crossroad now. The crossroad... Let me see if I can find it. Okay, so you're north of me. Okay. Good to know. Well, I'm sending a science ship that way anyway, so... I don't Get the know. fuck away from me! Well, I was sending it that way to go dig things, or to look for dig sites, so... I wonder if she's gonna be pissed that I cancelled. Oh well. Oh yeah, I can finally delete that group project. Oh, freaking thing. That was so stupid. Oop. Yes, trash that, please. Uh, has made a startling find on Barbo. The planet is seeming to be fit with- Oh, it has alien life! We may not be alone out here! Finally. Alright, let's go claim that system, please. Yep, she just sent me no- okay, no worries. <sighs> no, my focus is now on Rachel and anybody in our D and D group. Uh, it's a buzz with news that alien organisms. I almost read that as orgasms. Uh, discovered some time ago. These little evolutionary marvels. Wait, what? You're getting one? What? And I'm the only one that's thinking loot. Fucking hell, man. Oh well, you know, <laughs> my mind is ev you know is all over the place today. It's just how it is. Holy is it shit! Because of Rachel or workouts? I don't know. It could be the uh, coffee. I'll be honest. I am so <laughs> wired right now, <laughs> and yeah. I haven't even finished this thing yet. So, I've also had a lot of protein today. So you know, I've got a good amount of energy going, and I have a package showing up today. Which, speaking of which, I should check off that where that is. I Do you have a trucker? Uh, well, it's on Amazon, so. Oh. I got, uh, oh, yeah, so that's something cool about when you become a student at PSU. Um, uh -huh. So you can, uh, you get Prime membership for free for six months. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I've got Prime till December, pretty much. Okay, let's see. Uh, your orders. Yeah, I also found, okay, so it's arriving today. All right, cool. Hopefully it gets here before my great aunt does. Um, and hopefully she's not watching this. Sweet physics research. But yeah. Oh man. And then I need to make. I want to make more mead today. I think. If I want. I might go out and get more jars. What flavor is this one? I don't know yet. I'm. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna make it because I'm kind of thinking I should hold back a little bit till we get some sold, but. The stuff is so fun to make. I look so f look forward to uh, being able to produce this stuff on a continuous basis. <laughs> so, because it's just like, like I was telling, I told Wolf, I don't like to taste the most of the stuff. I mean, I don't mind a sip of it, but it's really fun to like get the smell and watch it develop. It's so gorgeous, even though people do not like it and think it's nasty looking. I find it fascinating, though. Because, like, I'm still shocked that the banana one reacted so well, and then yet the Hershey chocolate one, even with uh, mariachi cherries, which are the candy cherries, mm -hmm. um, didn't, like, get that bready uh, thing. So I wonder if it's because there's more, there's something in the bananas that reacted better with yeast, or if there's something in the mariachi cherries that caused the yeast to break it's down quicker. Point. You know how it is, man. I, I'm, I'm big on science and messing with this type of stuff. Oh, I'm it's just, understandable. I am so wired. <laughs> I should probably put the coffee down in the fridge. Because oh my heart's pumping today. All right. What can I say? I'm in a good mood. It's a fun day. Stock of the honey of honeydew. That is my name. Okay. Um, alright, so let's build some energy grids, get that going. Oh, well, I can build one. Well, fuck you too, game. Um, can I build... Where's my science real quick? Let me see, did I get that technology? No. Alright. Well, you're not too far off at this point. You've only got two more weeks and you'll be up here, so... Mm-hmm. 
Have you already gotten more things you want? Uh, thought about more things you wanted to go do? Mm. Well, Portland is like not a well, of course, not a relatively small uh, state, but there's city only so. Many. Oregon. Oh. Oregon. There we go. It's not a relatively small state, but there's so much that I can do within the limits, and having Wolf, mm -hmm. like, literally try and drive me around is probably not a good idea. Well, I mean, we can go do things. We can also ride, like, the Amtrak up to Seattle, but Wolf wants to, of course, drive. I know we planned on going up to Seattle one of the weekends, so. Yeah. Um... And we still have a bunch of hikes planned, so that'll be kind of cool. So, are we going to do like inter, like uh, cross state hikes, like some oh, yeah. in Oregon, some in Washington? Yeah. Okay. So we'll probably do for easy days. We'll probably do stuff like Pal Butte, um, where there's le there's a longer hike, but there's less uh, hard work to it. Um, mm -hmm. There's a few buttes that you can really do. You just don't want to do the Rocky Butte because that's covered in homeless people right now. Um, I mean, nothing against homeless people, it's just the fact that the ones out there are very disrespectful from what the reviews are and are really rough on things, so. Um, okay. there's also Thousand Acres, which we can take on the hot days to go walk up to the Sandy River, and just go enjoy ourselves in the river, go chill and have some fun. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, I mean, there's so many events going on. It does, it's unfortunate you can't, you guys can't drink, so... I mean that that does kind of suck. I mean, though, I mean, well, with I'm saying size, you can't drink kind of... legally. Like we, if we go to something, you guys can't get a drink because they'll uh, they'll card you. I mean, you can buy the drinks. I can, yes, but if I get caught giving alcohol to a minor, we get in trouble. Wolf doesn't look like a minor. We both actually know this. no. Wolf does. Um, really? Wolf, yeah. Wolf looks. Wolf is young looking. Like I said, he may be big, but he's got a baby face. So that's the problem. Um, but you just look like a hipster. Yeah. Well, you're real tiny, and that's the other thing. Um, and you look <laughs> young as well, because neither of you can grow a beard to the extent that like mine, and that makes it an issue. So. Listen. Just because it's not you an insult. are from Scot just because you're from Scottish bloodline doesn't mean shit. Well, actually, I'm more. I've got more German than I do Scottish in me. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, I would have made a great thing for poor Hitler. He would have had to deal with me. Um, <laughs> my r red hair and blue eyes. Oh yeah, I'm the whitest of the whites. Motherfucker thinks it's blonde and blue eyes. God damn it! No, it's what's redheads. Um. But, and the funny thing is, I get my red hair from my German side. Because um, <laughs> I get my red hair from my grandmother. Because mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I get it from my biological father. Because, we, like I said, I don't think that's actually my biological father. Mm -hmm. um, so, and she's fully German. She's got, like, very little mix with her. So, you know. Just saying. Alright, making sure we are still streaming. Okay. I don't care if people watch. I just want to make sure the thing's up. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. Um, I know that we'll be doing uh, a couple of lighter hikes with my great aunt. She'll probably want to go tag along. Um, but there's an app, so we'll be able to literally just go on all trails and pick what uh, routes where we want to take. And if okay. Wolf doesn't want to come along, that's fine. What's going to suck is Saturdays we'll probably do early morning hikes and then go work out because of the mm. fact that uh, during the summer term, uh, the gym doesn't open till 10 a.m. on Saturdays, so, mm, okay. which is stupid, um, but, you know, whatever. And <laughs> Sundays is the same thing. It's 10 a.m. I'm like, I'm not even going to bother with working out on Sundays. I'm just going to do a six-day week workout. Um, but, yeah, so, I mean, there's plenty of stuff to do for us. It's just mostly, you know, going and picking it out and seeing what's going on downtown and going and doing it. Like I said, I think the first day when you come up, we're going to hit Mount Hood. Um, intelligent life taunts with pointed absence. Reads it popular. Okay, I don't care. Uh, although toxic most uh, to most forms known to life, Bid Tox Eva supports a thriving ecology. Ooh, okay. Nice. One of my scientists gained a level. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there are We'll just have to go find what's going on as far as, like, what we want to go do. But I think the first day we'll do Mount Hood Community College and 
depending on what you want to do, we may come come back and just game or something and chill at the house. Um, mm. to kind of like, especially because you might be jet lagged. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll just break out the N64 or some shit and kick your ass at uh, Pokemon or Donkey Kong. Um, no, 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 no. That's that's a challenge right there. Bitch. It is that's a challenge right and there. And if, if I had my Elgato work, or if I had gotten an Elgato, I'd be fucking streaming it. Um, because that'd be badass. <laughs> but um, yeah. So that's kind of my plan at this point. Um, first day will be kind of easy. We may not go do much. We may do some things, but I don't. I haven't decided yet. And then mm-hmm. during the week, it'll be like I said, workouts in the mornings hikes after that and then from that you get to pick because both me and wolf have kind of decided since it's your vacation uh you get to choose what we're doing okay we might list off things to do or and you can see that or we can just go find something to do shit man you could just tour the food carts all day and you'd fucking you'd have things to do with the entire week oh uh remind the yeah, that's right um what's his name construction the complete bastard child bastard shall not be named uh sibling boyfriend that one. Oh yeah uh my little sister's boyfriend yeah so fuck what was i about to say um are you guys still gonna do that thing? no we don't i mean the kid has uh come up to me and, uh, apparently so him uh my little sister and him came up to meet with me um, to buy juice off me. Um, juice really? for those, uh, who are really? watching the street. Shut up. Um, homemade <laughs> juice without alcohol content. Um, as le- is legally stated. And so, um, uh, some raspberry juice that may have sold as soon as I finished making it. Um, so yeah, I went on hung out with them for a bit and... Of course, I was talking to the kid, and so he started doing the workout that Wolf gave me, and he's already crying about it, um, <laughs> like I, I've mentioned in the past. And not the one that you saw, the new one that I'm working on, that the hard one. He's doing the easy version, <laughs> and he's still having a hard time. I'm like, God, dude, you know, this sounds like a kid's not willing to put, or isn't letting his ego go when it comes to the amount of weight he's lifting, because, I mean, it's not impossible <laughs> as long as you're willing to understand what your limits are and work on them, you know. It's one thing to, you know over or to lift a little heavier than what you're used to it's another to think oh well i'm gonna you know i can lift 25 pounds for 30 reps doing fucking military press with dumbbells no problem you know when you've only ever lift the only time you've ever done that is for like a two rep max so i think that's the big issue is he's got an ego going for him but he wants to join us on our hikes (laughs) and hang out with us because he wants me to teach him how to be ghetto fight because he is the whitest Mexican dude I have ever met. He's like, I want to be more, you know, like you. And I'm like, the fuck do you mean? He's like, well, you know, like, you're kind of a salt of the earth man. I'm like, oh god, if he meets Wolf, he's gonna shit his pants. Um, I was like, okay, yeah. Um, I was like, I'm not really, uh, I mean, you can join us if you want. I told him, I was like, you know, as far as it goes, it'll be, Trin will be sitting in the back with me, or with Fuka, while me and Wolf are sitting in the front. Uh, he's like, well, you guys got a trunk, right? I was like, oh, you don't want to encourage this kid. I really, I'm um, trying to be nice. <laughs> I'm like, because Wolf's got a small car, so I'm like, it's not going to be a good idea to bring him, this kid along. And I'm like, also, I know Wolf's going to meet this kid, and he's going to tear him a fucking new one. Because Fuka, <laughs> you are gay and black. That's your past, even though you act white. You know, but okay. he, this kid is really fucking white. Like, Construction complete. it's ma- it's impressive how white he is. And he's of Mexican origin. Yes. His family is so- uh, so- uh, Central American, um, they're South Mexican, South Mexican. And he's okay. third generation American or second generation mm. American. Um, mm. so... But he is just so flippin' white. Like, like okay, like paper white? Mm-mm. Or cloud white? Not like skin white, colored white. Like, he's light colored, but like preppy white. Like, he acts oh. really white. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm, like, that, pr- that's he is nice. proper gentleman boy, but without the, like, mystique of a gentleman. That's, mm. that's the best way I can describe him. I and mean, this kid is like a fucking pansy, honestly. 
Mm, that's, 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 that's. And my little sister's yeah. trying to get him in shape because she's tired of his gut touching her ass when he, they're in bed. And I'm like, well, I've got a friend that I can, that doesn't have a gut. Um, and I was like, he's extremely submissive and he's decent looking. If you're interested, she's like, and I told her this right in front of him. And I did this, and I was like, you know, or I can introduce you to my buddy Wolf. I mean, he's probably got a little bit of a belly, but the guy's massively built. And I was like, and, you know, extremely dominant, which she likes both sides of the coin, um, mm-hmm. just to an extreme. And he's sitting there looking at me like I'm an asshole. And I'm like, kid, let me explain this to you. My job is not to like you. You are down on the bar right now, like below average on the my bar right now. He's like, is there any way to raise it up? I was like, yeah, get ghetto-fied. <laughs> and that's where you coming. <laughs> yeah. And apparently he likes me. I'm like, why? Kid, you're, you're, no. Uh, he's just asking for a death wish. I know, right? Like, I don't want to deal with him. So, I don't know. We're going to see where this goes, to be honest. Um, but, yeah. Oh, I can get rid of these things, so let's do that. Um, it's interesting, so I don't know if we're going to bring him along. I really don't want to, but if my little sister requests it, we'll see. But she said she will be joining us on our hikes. Um, she just doesn't know if she'll hang out with us during the day because she has to work. Which I said, yeah, that's fine, you know. And then after, I think, the two weeks, I think it's the week you leave, she's heading to Vegas, so. Okay. I'm like, that's fine, you know, whatever. We, I just want, I want to introduce her to you and Wolf because I want her to get accustomed to guys who are, like, college grade and actually are intelligent. This kid's a fucking idiot. I mean, uh, I call people names, hold, I call hold people up, stupid. Hold up, hold up, hold up, one second. So... He's a preppy white kid that's from Mexican origin, mm-hmm. but has the mindset of a two-year-old. Of a high school boy with a lower than average greeting level. Okay, how, how does he say hello? Or any greeting? Uh, dude, you, you gotta meet the kid. It, uh, it's hard to explain it otherwise. You'll, you'll I see what I mean. Feeling, I have a feeling I'm going to assume that assume correctly i have a strong feeling Fuka, let me put it this way he is your type <laughs> and that's my concern he's well hey i mean if you want to take him that's fine kid needs maybe you can educate the kid i'll put it this way i have i would say trend's smarter than this guy that is my concern mm. yeah I don't want if, if 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 they break it off and if he comes on to me, I'm not doing it. Nope. Yeah, no, no, don't worry. We, we, I already told you we'd find you a pretty girl to chase around, or guy, depending on your taste, of, for the week. Hmm. Plus, I've been like I said, I've been told I have to treat you nicely. <laughs> but no, I mean it'll be interesting. I. I don't know if I really want to bring the kid just because I don't want to listen to him bitch while we hike. I mean, I know that Wolf's going to be, isn't going to bitch. He'll be quiet the entire time, even if he is in pain. Although it does sound like he's getting ready. He's been hiking a lot, so that way he can get into shape uh, mm-hmm. for it. And I know you're going to complain a little bit, but again, it'll be us as a group. We're jo- it's more of a joke. It's fun. It's whatever, you know, that's fine. This kid, I don't know if I'm going to want to deal with listening to him bitch and complain. So, Would she be sad if I drown him? If you what? If you drown him? He can he can't swim, I don't think, so you know, it wouldn't be difficult. And I'll be honest, I think your arms are bigger than his. Oh no, he's got the noodle arms. Dude, no. he's tiny like I said, he's tiny. Like I mean he's tall. He's about my height, roughly. Uh, I'd say he's probably like five seven. But I don't know. He's got he's oh no. <laughs> I really, you know, no. yeah. God damn it, no. And she's cute, and her boobs have gotten bigger, so, since she started working out. And she got rid of her gag reflex, finally, because of now that she's, uh, um, got her tongue cut. Not like, not like the, oh, like, no, split. No, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. The, um, the thing, string yeah. that's, like, underneath your tongue. Yeah, Wolf's got it. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah, apparently that's a thing. I didn't know that. And she finally got it cut, and so now she, I think she got rid of her gag reflex, or she's minimalized it. Which I'm very mm-hmm. proud of her for. She's very ecstatic. So, yeah. I mean, like I said, I would rather see this girl with anybody else. This guy is, mm, he has not impressed me. 
Especially because he goes, this was my favorite. I was like, yeah, you know, where I grew growing up out here, you know, I had to deal with a lot of gangbangers and stuff. And he's like, oh, you know the gangs around here? I was like, yeah, what race are you looking, what, like, what race are you want to know? He's like, well, what are the Hispanic gangs? I was like, okay, so there's the Northerners, the North, uh, that don't work with the Mexican Mafia. They're considered the rebel cell of the Mex uh, Mexican gangs out here. Um, they are really popular down in California, you know, but they're the only Mexican gang that's ever made it big and been able to go stand at war with the Mexican Mafia. It's extremely rare. And I was like, and the other gang that mostly operates out here is what it's called the Southsiders, and most of them are called the Southsider Soldiers. I was like, a buddy of mine named Jorge uh, used to be a captain uh, under the uh, local clique out here, and he had it pretty rough himself, and I've heard some interesting stories about that and how they've had to deal with things. I was like, yeah, there's enough Asian gangs, there's blood, there's Crips out here. I mean, you know, there's plenty of mixed groups. And he's like, wow, how do you know all this? I'm like, motherfucker, oh my god, <laughs> go away, <laughs> pansy-ass white boy. <laughs> I've lived a shelter life, and I know what mo like basically. There's upstate in like in Albany. There's like an upstate gang. There's a down then downstate gang. They're at war with each other sometimes. Yeah. Up in um fucking Saratoga, there's like what uh there was this Latino gang mm -hmm. always wearing purple. I forgot their fucking names. Uh, but I, know, um, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's them. And there's a new gang somewhere forming in Albany. Don't fucking remember, but they vote. But they like to like. They're trying to take it over. Yeah. I know as much about those gangs. Then what the fuck you say? Well, I mean, this kid is just like I'm thinking. Why do you want to know this shit, kid? Like he's trying to impress me by acting like hard and tough, and I'm like, dude, you are just doing exactly what's gonna irritate me. I would rather have you act like who you are. And impress me that way, then this way. And then, I don't like him because he's got no aspirations in his life, which, you know, is a big issue for me. Mm. I can't stand men who have no aspirations in life. Um, that's why I make people have aspirations. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, I don't know, man. This kid but rubs me the wrong way. I mean, the last one gave me the creeps, and then we found out, yeah, there was something real fucked up with him. Um... That was Seth, I think, was his name. And this one, I mean, he's not creepy. He's just not... Doesn't seem right for her. He's too weak. He really is, and I don't like... Because I feel she's going to devour the shit out of him. I was like, because she's sociopathic, like, to an extreme. So, I don't see that working out very long. Especially when she has to start dealing with college guys. Like, that's going to... He, he's going to get dropped so quickly. It just really... I don't know. I think as far as it goes, it'd be kind of pointless to even... I, I don't think I have to do anything to deal with him at this point. I think he's going to screw up on his own. So... Uh, ooh. Ow! Oh, I just hit my chest. Oh, I forgot the muscles are still so sore. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I worked out three days ago for chest, and it still hurts. <laughs> This should tell, give you a good warning of what I'm dealing with with Wolf's workout. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We're going to see what this kid's like. If he decides he wants to join us, then maybe. Um, oh, oh, wait a minute. Are you going, are you going to do d and with him? Oh, I don't know now. Um, I, told my, <laughs> I did tell my little sister I was going to teach her D&D. &D, so... We might do that on our hikes. We might go ahead and start walking her through how the system kind of works. Mm -hmm. Or I might invite her over to uh, learn that stuff. Actually, speaking of which, that reminds me. I'm going to text her because I know she wanted to go get uh, some weed later. So. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. Please, please do your home routine D with him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I would love to. Oh, yeah. Make him play as a dragonborn. <laughs> Just give false hype about hey, Dragonborn are the best. You should try this in my homework campaign. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, and even better. So the kid. Uh, her boyfriend has only ever played three or five e. He's never played in the older editions, 
And he's like, mm. oh, could you teach me 3.5? I heard it's got a lot more freedom. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'll teach you 3.5. Why not? I don't think he caught on to the dripping venom coming from the comet, but... <laughs> yep, it'll be fun. Aw, oh, cute puppy. Oh my god, this woman uh, I'm friends with on Snapchat has the most gorgeous fucking hug husky I've ever seen. It's this, like, black and brown husky with these bright blue eyes. Oh, it's so cute. I want one so bad. But I'm planning I, on getting a pit bull, so... Pit bull I've and a corgi. Planning, well, yeah. I've been planning for a while to, like, get a, um, a corgi husky mix. Uh-huh. And... Wait till you've moved out here. Because it's really hard to get them, I mean, because yeah, having them go through flying is just not fun for the dogs. Yeah, so. it, it's not. It, it gives them, what, an irritation in the brain? Well, yeah, that and they have to basically give them, like, a shot that puts them to sleep and can actually, almost, can kill them. So, mm -hmm. I... Because the little humming can kill yes. the brain and, yeah, the sensors in the brain and die. So, it's wait till you come out here, please. That's all I all ask. Right. <laughs> But go ahead. <laughs> it's either that or I'm gonna dry. So calm down. Well, I'm I mean, not gonna kill the poor pup. I just don't want you to have to deal with that, you know, because that's kind of hard to deal with. Um, I mean, oh, no shit, Dick Tracy. Well, hey, you know. Wait, how far are you again? How I'm far are you? I'm south of you. Oh, you said north. I no, I said I'm heading, uh, sending a guy north towards you. Oh. Yes. Um, okay. I mean, I get you. I love huskies. I really would love a corgi because I'd love to name it Ein. Um, really? Yes. You fucking, you fucking I love Cowboy Bebop. That was a fucking amazing show. Um, it is one of the best classic animes. Um, that or a pit bull. Uh, that I, I mean, because I'm gonna do a rescue. Like I've already decided that I plan to do a rescue. I'm not doing a puppy mm -hmm. mill. Um, and I don't, wouldn't mind getting a pit bull from one of the Oregon Humane Society or the Multnomah Humane Society because they always have an abundance of pit bulls. And I love, I've always loved pit bulls. I miss my uh, one at my parents' house. As the only, like, it's so bad that I miss this dog that I almost contemplated actually speaking to my mother again. Um, <laughs> that's how, you know, much I was thinking. I was like, oh, you know, I miss that dog. She was amazing. But, Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing a pit bull. I don't think I could do a husky, though, um, in an apartment. That's my only issue, just because of the fact that they're really smart. <laughs> you don't want a dog matching your intelligence? <laughs> no, I'm thinking that's a dog that's going to get creative and where he shits in the house. Um, so, <laughs> pit bulls are very okay. intelligent for... dogs as well, but, you know, they're at least they're nanny dogs. For the huskies, I would rather get one from the puppy mill. Yeah. That way I can, like, house train it into making sure it won't shit in my house. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yep, yeah, I'm just going to make sure the house train it so it won't shit in my house. <laughs> and just have, to, and just, like, only do stupid shit like, what, um, do, be creative on trying to say, hey, I'm fucking hungry, feed mm. me. That's the only thing I'll, no shitting. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. But, I mean, I don't know. I think I'm going to, uh, when... We get set up in an apartment. I might get a pit bull at that point or a corgi. Mm. A corgi will probably be easier to get because, you know, most places out here still don't like pit bulls, so. Oh, wait. Oh, I found, um, I found my, well, yeah, I found my dad's old friend who tried to sell him a blue nose pit bull at one point. Uh-huh. And, um, he, and she gave birth. Mm hmm Again. Mm hmm To... So I believe her third batch. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah, I can try and talk to my dad and seeing if he can give me another blue nose as a parting gift or something like that. Well, I mean, you might want to, like, again, I said, you know, hold I know, off. I know, I know, I know. Tell you have a good enough paying job and more hours. I know. <laughs> His dogs are expensive. I mean, yeah, pit bulls are cheaper than, like, the smaller breeds, like pugs and shit, that have so many health issues, but still. <sighs> okay, I think she's still working. Yeah, okay, so that's why she's not texting me back. Alright, cool. Rachel? Uh, or, yes, uh... her and my little sister. Um, well, Rachel told me she was decorating a cake today about doing uh, the 
happiness, sadness cake. So okay. she said she'd be busy, and I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll just go play game for the day. Um. Um. Oh but, wait, you never told me your little sister's name, have you? Uh, her her name. Well, I'm not gonna say it on stream. Yeah, I know that. But uh, what's her nickname? Uh, her nickname is Trin. T R I N. Oh, that one. That's yes. right. My actual little sister, her name's Kaylee. Kylie? Kaylee? Kaylee. Yeah, Kaylee. But... <laughs> I haven't seen her in like almost six months now. I mean, I miss my, uh, I do miss my siblings slightly, but at the same time, we were never close, so it's not like I have much attachment to them overall. So. Fair enough. I mean, it's the same with my little cousins. They live right down the street. I still don't have very much attachment to them. I love the kids, but I don't feel the necessity to go over and see them. So. Are you talking about the ones with the uh, with my family issue? Yeah, the with one your, with my aunt, my crazy yeah. aunt. Mm -hmm. Now, it's my great aunt I live with, just to clarify. Um, oh, I know that. I okay. know that. But... Yes, my mother's sister is fucking nuts. The and oh, I got a good one for you. You'll you'll appreciate this story. So currently, so my cousin, my little cousin who's six years old, he is going to school at this one elementary school. Uh, wait. Oh. Um. Okay. So that gives me five hundred. That gives me three hundred fifty. Uh. Okay. Let's do that. Um. So. He's going to school, but he's being transferred out of the school at the end of this, uh, year, this academic year, which just ended. Uh, or at least mm -hmm. he's supposed to be. Um, because of the fact that he kept getting in, uh, suspended and in trouble for fighting and stuff like that. I'm so proud of the kid. Um, <laughs> but uh, because – so he was – for the last like month, all he was doing was basically sitting in a counselor's room playing. He wasn't learning anything. He was taken out of the classroom because the teacher didn't want to deal with him anymore. Mm. Which I'm pissed about, because that's just not cool to do to a child. Um, you know, he should still be taught. That's what our taxpayer dollars are going towards. But, so, for the last month, he's been doing nothing but sitting in a room playing during the school day. So, my aunt is not getting off her ass now to get him enrolled in a new school. She's just letting it be. She doesn't care, doesn't give a damn. It to, She's not doing anything actively trying to help it. All she's doing is smoking her weed, going and es being an escort, and stripping at Dream On. And all I want to do is really w see this woman just get smacked by DHS with a, um, and have those kids taken away from her. Because I am so tired of her doing this type of shit. That boy mm -hmm. is, like... They, uh, he's, they're saying now uh, my cousin can't read, but I was like, I've had him over here. He's been able to read N64 games. Like, when we play Super Mario, he could read the text. And that's some hard text to read, because the fucking words are really are all slanted and um, cursive. But, you know, no issue on that. But suddenly mm -hmm. he can't read a book. I'm like, the fuck are you talking about? This kid can read? I've watched him read. He can do math at my level. I mean... You just got to be willing to sit down and teach him. No one's willing to. My grandparents are both basically not dealing with it. They don't want to deal with it. It's not their issue. His, uh, I, don't, I think it's his stepdad, um, who takes care, who's the dad of his brother. Um, mm. and of course he's not with my aunt because he realized she's nuts and, and decided that wasn't worth the issue, but still is very active in the boy's life. He gets them every weekend. He's been trying to help my cousin, but of course, you know. He can only do so much because my grandparents blame him for all the issues. And it's like, are you fucking stupid? That guy's got a job. He's got his own place. He's trying to get it on his feet. He's got medical. He's got dental. He, and he takes the kids to where they need to go. Well, my aunt fucking doesn't do shit. She barely wants to see those children unless it gets her attention. Ugh, I tell you. Do yourself a favor. Don't ever have kids if, you can, if you're not going to take care of them. For all those watching the stream, remember that. I would rather have a wife that's sane. Hey, you know what? You don't even have to have a wife. As long as you're willing to take care of the kids and do your part, man, that's what I call a good parent. I can't stand my aunt. She's a fucking bimbo mm -mm, and deserves <laughs> nothing but the worst because she won't take care of those damn kids. My great aunt has been working her ass off to get those boys doing stuff. Like we got uh, the oldest one on the Boys and Girls Club for the summer. It took, mm -hmm. us three, or it took her three visits to get my... Um, 
my mother's sister to actually go and sign the paperwork. Everything else was filled out. All she had to do was put her signature on the very bottom line. Didn't have to read any of the shit. It was all taken care of. She didn't even have to take the kids there. Three to visits to get her to finally sign it. And that's only because my great aunt yelled at her. Jesus. I can't stand my mother's sister. Fucking. I have never met someone so ignorant and stupid to the world. And that is why I'm making it my mission now to take care of those that are at least worth my time and making sure they end up more intelligent than that. Oh, God. Yeah. Yay! First colony. But, yeah. Oh, it's been it's been ridiculous, man. I mean, there's a reason I have cut all ties at this point. It is really just not worth dealing with any of them. Oh... <sighs> I don't have the energy anymore for it, man. I'm getting old dealing with that shit. It just dry. It literally is going to give me gray hair if I keep dealing with the chaos over there. But, yeah. Now you know. <laughs> and now you know why I haven't decided to go and mess with my little sister's boyfriend at all. Because at this point, I've got bigger fish to deal with. And the kid's not treating her bad. I mean, I don't really care for him, but, you know, whatever. As long as he doesn't hit her, although I'd be, I can't, I would laugh to watch that happen because I can just imagine how she'd beat the living shit out of him. Because <laughs> she's got a hefty right hook, so. Mm -mm. Oh, and she told me about so one of my exes, her one of her old best friends that uh, she hooked me up with, um, mm. Chance I think was her name, something like that. Apparently, so this is the girl that. Uh, basically didn't have her social security card, didn't have an organ ID, didn't have anything, didn't have her birth certificate, and refused to go get them. She didn't want to do with anything. She just wanted a guy to take care of her. So, to explain how good of a bullet I dodged here, the current boyfriend she's with that wants to dump her, she is now trying to get him to impregnate her, uh, or sleeping around as, as many guys as she can to get impregnated to basically make him stick around. Jesus Christ. Now, I thought that only happened in the ghetto, I didn't think that happened out here. I didn't think it happened with white people either. Not to be racist, but, you know, I never hear about those stories unless you go down real south. So, <laughs> you know, poor kid's thinking about, or her uh, current boyfriend's thinking about joining the military to get away from her. I'm like, I don't fucking blame her. <laughs> Tell him to join the Navy. He'll see more action. <laughs> it's like, goddamn, poor kid doesn't deserve have to deal with that type of shit. Yeah, it was bad, man. Ugh. That was a bullet I dodged and a half. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I have a military. I should be doing something with that. Um, I don't have a leader yet, but I'm not going into combat anytime soon. Also, apologies that the game goes slower, but to keep with your connection, I have to keep it on a lower speed. Understandable. You should see it when I play against Trent. It's even worse. Um... Or Fraz. Oh my god, Fraz was terrible. <laughs> Trump didn't just build a wall around uh, to uh, separate Mexico from America. He also built one in the Wi-Fi networks to avoid Canada. <laughs> Fucking terrible, man, I tell you. Ugh. But, yeah. I'm just happy now that I have found someone that is a little, less dra or a little more drama-free and a little easier to deal with. Even if, if I am the young one to get in the relationship. <laughs> the Royce curse. Every person in my family is always married up. My grandfather was six years. My mother was seven. My other great aunt was, I think, ten? Maybe, no, Jeez. four. I think it's, I don't remember. I don't remember what the difference in age is. Um... Might be more, it might be less, somewhere in between four and ten. Uh, let's see. Yeah, my great grandmother. I think she, both marriages to both uh, both men she married were both older uh, by at least five years. So, yep, I am doomed to the curse. Although I found squeaky toys, so I guess I can't complain. Fucking okay, hell! <laughs> Have you never seen um, the uh, blue collar comedy tour? I did. That's, yeah, that's where I'm referencing. <laughs> Here's your sign. All right. Let's build up a few more of those. Get some more housing going. Um, I can't build... Oh, well, I only have 20 minerals left. God damn it. 
Jesus, that's a rich system. Twelve minerals in one system. Holy fuck. All right, well, I've got enough to make a f or to start building up another um, construction ship, so let's do that. But yeah, no, it's, uh, I'm curious about this thing with Rachel works out. She's cute. I was, uh, quite shocked. When you said she was my type, I was like, you know, I'm a little worried here, because what my type is differs day to day, so. I mean, she did thank you, so. Yeah, I didn't expect that. I'll be 100% honest. And she's got very similar uh, kinks as me. So that was, um. <laughs> Rather refreshing, because most of the girls I've had to deal with can't handle that sometimes, so. But, yeah, no, it'd be fun. Oh, shit, I have to get new jeans. Yeah, I'll do it next week. Um, I just realized I forgot I ha don't have a pair of jeans now other than the ones that have tears in my, ho on my uh, knees. Because the other ones had a tear in the crotch so bad. So, this is something I will warn. Wolf's workouts will have you bending in ways you're not accustomed to. You're going to end up with, uh, like, torn jeans. So, make sure you wear shorts when we go work out. Or, you know, wear uh, shorts when we hike as well. Because, yeah. Or lighter hiking <laughs> pants. Actually, if you don't have hiking pants, I might have a pair that might fit you. Because, um... Oh, they might be a little baggy, but I've, I mean, we've got belts. Mm -hmm. You might come home with more clothes, just as a forewarning, because there's a lot of shit I can wear that you, you're welcome to take. I've just gotten too big in the chest. My boobs are getting bigger again. God damn it. It's a problem. So. Stop feeling yourself, God damn it. Well. <laughs> wait, are you Stop not, feeling yourself. You're not Stop watching. It. Oh, you're watching the stream. Oh, shit. Stop feeling yourself. Stop feeling your fucking nipples. I'm not. My nipples are down here, They and they're very small, and very, they're really not there anymore. <laughs> Um, they're, they're more useless now than they were when I first, when, when they were before. Um, <laughs> cause like one of them's completely gone. Um, but no, honestly, the, fucking these black t-shirts, these workout shirts I got, which used to be my work shirts for Sear, when I worked at Sears, um, barely fit me now. Um, they're getting to the point where, like, right here in the chest is getting real tight after a workout, so I'm like, okay, maybe I need to start looking up to go to a large again, because these are all mediums, so, you know, might be time, but, yeah, no, I have a bunch of shirts I have to go through and completely probably get rid of at this point, because I don't think, I think it's too small now. Um, do did I... you ever have a gigantic skeleton event? No. Oh yes, I've had the event. I just don't have it right now. Oh. Why? What's going? What, did you find something? I Do found a gigantic skeleton. I think all that does is give you a research bonus. But it might give you a relic now. I don't know. System survey complete. I still haven't found any relics. Oh man. Also, I am still pissed. For those who are watching, if or Paradox Interactive ever sees my streams in the future, and you haven't ever updated Imperator Rome, I'm still pissed at you for st or launching a new game right after you launched Imperator Rome. You, it feels like you've abandoned the project. God damn it! It's not fair. I love the game, but no. Um. Okay. Yeah. Let's get my trade value up. Which one opens? Oh, I don't know. Is it Prosperity that does that? Mining output, adapting all Prosperity trades will give your planet uh, merchant jobs for 50 pops in addition to... Okay. Uh, diplomacy traditions will increase... Tr okay, so I just need to get my trust cap up. But, yeah. Oh, man. Well, I've almost bottomed out this coffee. I'm going to crash fucking hard later because of it, but whatever. <laughs> And I don't know if I'm going to hit the gym tomorrow, cause, uh, just because of the fact that it opens at 10 a.m. And I am kind of just don't want to go that late in the day. Because I hate working out after I've eaten, like, a massive breakfast, so. Like today, when I ate two chicken kebabs, two fucking chicken sausages, and three eggs. On top of a bowl of fucking cantaloupe and pineapple. <laughs> oh, so good, man. Uh, Alright, cool. Habitable world. Okay, uh, you can go 
Oh, we can't build that yet. But I do need to get you researching somewhere else. Uh, ooh, pardon me. Survey system, survey system, survey system, please. All right, and then go to ship designer, or not ship designer, ship fleet, fleet manager, and get you up to the full 20. There we go, and we'll reinforce you when we have to go to war. Oh man. See, isn't this relaxing? <laughs> It beats sitting in CK2, although at least in CK2 you can plot to kill each other. Yeah. But I didn't know, I didn't feel like playing CK2. I've done it so much today. Or this week. Because today is my last free day off where I don't have to do anything. Tomorrow I have to clean the entire upstairs for when you show up. I gotta mm. back, I've gotta wash the carpeting because there are stains on the carpet from I don't know what. I think it's just from my shoes. Uh, which means I get to pull up everything off the floor and put it in the bathroom and then basically take the wet vac, go through the entire upstairs, then spend the rest of the day out doing something, come home, and then vacuum it again after vacuuming it beforehand as well. And then I get to clean the entire bathroom, which I'll probably wait till sooner when you get up here, and make sure the couch is cleaned. <laughs> okay. My sex couch, my, uh, what's it called? The casting couch? Ew. Why? <laughs> Why you do this to me? Well, I mean, you don't want to know what's happened on that couch. I really don't. Well, because then you'll end up sleeping on the floor. Ah, <laughs> oh, goddammit, just please disinfect that couch. Oh, it's been disinfected. That's why there's a sleeping bag on top of it now. Okay. Um, <laughs> You know, I'll be cur I'm gonna be curious if you can sleep on this damn thing because it's fucking lumpy as shit. So, I mean, I've had to sleep on it a few times, but I've always smoked weed before I've slept on it. So, oh, oh, that's right, and you can smoke when you get up here. We'll have to get you a little vape pen like what I've got for the while well, the time while you're up here if you want to smoke. You just won't be able to take it with you afterwards. <laughs> So, because they haven't legalized it in New York, I don't think yet, right? No. That sucks, bro. They only accept medicinal, which pisses me off. Meanwhile, I'm here smoking like a fucking chimney every, almost every other day. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, leave the coffee alone for a bit. I, I think I'm wired enough for the morning. <sighs> oh, yeah, so what do you think we should name the... um? Snow Dwarves and Snow Elves, because I honestly think those names are lame, and I've been contemplating what to change it to, so... Oh, what is the Latin name for snow? Uh, good question. Because the only thing for Snow Dwarves I was thinking was Forebearers, um, because of the fact that they are older than the actual normal Dwarves, although they come from a completely separate genotype. That sounds more like a, what is it, um, that sounds more like a guild thing, if anything. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, what is it? Uh, oh yeah, um, snow in, in Latin, god damn, fucking, keyboard is too small for fat fingers, it's Nix. Oh, Nixon was snowing in Latin. <laughs> well... <laughs> That explains God damn so much. It. Um, okay, um... So, let's not use Nyx. Well, there's, like, uh, uh, three of them. So, there's, uh, Pru Prunia, which means, uh, frost or hoarfrost, or hoar or snow or rhyme. There's mm -hmm. Ningues, which also means snow. And Nyx just means accumulated snow. Okay, so... We use the second one, but butcher it. But... Butcher it. Okay. Like, Ooh, I, um, I've got an idea. Uh, let me type this out and see what you think of it. All right. I can type it on the computer because Discord doesn't lag my entire campaign. Uh, what do you think of uh, 
I like it. All right, we'll go with that. Okay, so I'll put that in the Champions of Pyrus. Okay, um, I already know what I'm going to be naming the High Elves, because I'm changing their names to... Uh, oh, oops. Let me... Uh, all elves. Oh, oh, is it only this? There is good. That's olives. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no, that is olives. Um, I think that was how I pronounced. Or I wrote it. Um, for the draconic el elves. Drill. What about drells for the draconic elves for the snow elves? Mm. That sounds like a space race. Mm -hmm. Um. Ooh. The the silhouette dis okay from orbit are indeed buildings and closer inspection reveal to an obvious mater uh, martial nature. Well, banned for some time, though very recent. Okay, uh, issue special project alien bear. But a high elves are just kind of some like it says oval. Well, I mean you're not wrong. Science ship, come here and research that. Thank you. Um. Construction complete. Oops, nope. I didn't mean to do that. One of you. Oh god damn it! I just want one of you. You, move here. You, move here. Um, wait, did that just move both of them there? No, okay. I mean, hmm. Well, because the idea with the uh, high elves, I was looking to mix uh, old and elves together. I'll think of something better, though. Because we're going to have to rename some of the races. Yeah? Oh, Jesus, I got to take a piss. I'll be right back. Okay. I have returned. Welcome oh. back. God, the amount of that coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um. Do do do. Through Xeno historical analysis of the military installation, I have yielded a few tangible results. Uh, Petals of Red ha now has the expertise in military theory. Oh, that's it? Well, wow, that sucks. Um, how about High Elves called Enk Enkville? Enk. Hmm. Not it's a like mashup between ancients and a butchering of elves. That's not bad, yeah. Um, okay, we can work with that. Now, what to call the Snow Elves? Hmm. Mm. Because I know they're Safira's daughters, or children, so. Um. Wait, what about. Mm. Uh, here, I got one. I 
mix of Mizna and Safira. Okay. Uh, Cause like I said, I don't. I mean, I don't mind. Like if another race might can refer to the snow, the dwarves of the north as snow dwarves, just because. Oh well, that's what they were to them. They didn't know much about them. But mm. the race themselves wouldn't call themselves snow dwarves. I mean, that just seems redundant. Yeah. Uh, just like you know, humans only gained their name because they you know were smaller goliaths. Mm. So. <laughs> Oh, my back, I tell you. I need to get someone just to come in and rub my back down. Ugh. Oh, man. I don't think Rita's good at massage therapy. No, but she's good at other <laughs> things, and that'll get that'll reduce the stress otherwise. Oh, God damn it! Leave her squeaky toys out of this. Wasn't her squeaky toys I was referring to. Fucking hell, dude. Hey, the DM is in, has two moods, alright? Happy and horny. <laughs> so, today is a mixture of both. I had a good workout, and although my back hurts a little bit, and I saw more naked old ass than I think I ever cared to see again, still not too bad of a day. <laughs> alright, so that's going to take a while to build up, so let's reinforce the fleet the best we can. Oh, man. Alright. Wow. Wait, is that... Okay. I'm just curious about something. Nope, it's gonna keep it the same. Well, we can... We'll keep it fastest and see how long it stays at that. Because you're still only about three days behind me, so... Unless we end up doing a... Ma unless a war launches off, I think you'll be alright. Which, mm. if a war launches off this early, I think you're fucked either way, to be honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, because even I don't have a fleet yet. My fleet power is just 179. <laughs> well, you've got a bigger fleet power than mine. <laughs> oh, my science ship hasn't been doing their job. Oops. Yeah, let's get you surveying those systems later. So we can start building up choke points. Okay. Boom. All right, that'll work. And I found a tundra planet, which I have a 10% ability to, uh, or for the habitat. I think I'll colonize. Good <laughs> um, luck with the deaths. Yeah, I know. All right, my people aren't really much into snow. Uh. Oh god, that felt good. Oh, ow. <laughs> Why do I keep hitting my chest when I go to burp? Fuck, that hurts. <laughs> Just lightly tapping, god damn it. Yeah, well, you know, I said it to all the girls, but, you know, <laughs> never works out that way. You um, don't fuck them by going hard, okay? I get told that a lot, too. Um... <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, let's build up some more minerals here. Okay, so that should put me at the max for minerals. Oh, and I can finally get rid of that. Cool. My home world is going to be a mineral-rich planet. Because <sighs> once you get to a certain point, minerals are what matters, so you can convert it into consumer goods and alloys. <laughs> <laughs> Is there is a point when you hit like um where you're making so much energy you just have to start you know buying things so that way you can use mm. it? Oh, tell me how like I was running low like I was on the negatives for energy um on one of my playthroughs and I just and my minerals was on the rise so mm -hmm. I just kept selling my minerals for more energy. Hey, that's how it goes sometimes, man. I mean, honestly. God damn, I'm gonna. Pop Tap it, or finishing this coffee, I really should put it farther away from me so I can't drink, grab it as easily. <laughs> oh, but this is the way I wanted to spend my days, just relaxing. Because I don't have to do shit for this day, other than take care of the dogs, and they've already been outside for the day, so there's nothing else for me to do with them, which is nice. Oops, nope, not what I want to do. Don't go in there. Um, okay, so I need 300. Alright. 
I will do get the 300 minerals and then I'll start that. But yeah, so all I gotta do is take care of the dogs. They've been out already. I've watered the plants, so now it's just kind of relaxing and enjoying myself. Until tomorrow when chores start, and I've got to go look at go up to the bookstore and get the uh, PMP book so I can start working on getting that, and then start researching what I have to do to get my alcohol license. So okay. that way, me and Wolf can officially start selling alcohol. <laughs> And I can actually start setting, looking to set up shop on a website and get us going on that. Or, you know, setting up shop on the uh, Facebook page so that way I have a business license registered with them. Mm. And then we can sell alcohol, Fuka, and make ourselves some money. Yay! And start up the business. It'll be a fun time. And then we can start naming our meads officially. Cause I think I came up with the names for the, all the ones I have, so... Did you label them? Uh, well, I have the grapefruit one labeled. That's the only one I couldn't remember what it was, so. Make sure to label them in case you forget, because. It's a little late now. God damn it. <laughs> I know. Send the... Well, I have them in order, so that way it's still in the same order as uh, what I um, posted as far as the what was in them at the very beginning. You remember mm -hmm. I took the picture of all of them? So yeah. I should be all right, um, and so I don't plan on moving them. Uh, at this point, so I think we're good. Plus, most of them, the only ones that I would be, I'm worried about mixing up is the coffee and chocolate, and they have very unique smells to them, so I don't think I have too much to worry about on that one. What do they smell like? Well, the coffee smells like coffee, something fierce, mm. and the chocolate just smells more, like it has more alcohol. Uh, wait, what? Mm-hmm. More, uh, the more really? sugar in there, the more the yeast can eat and poop out. Huh. Yeah, alcohol is yeast poop shit. If you didn't know that. <laughs> I, no joke. That then 100% that's what that is. Um, ooh, my fleet's ready to upgrade. Sweet. Oops. Nope. Uh, there you go. Upgrade the fleet. Since we're still waiting on getting more influence anyways. God, the influence generation is slow in this game. But I guess we are on a slower speed, so... Ugh. But, yeah. No, dude, I got a good wor leg workout today, too. So I started doing hip thrusters. Uh, or weighted hip thrusters to try and work on that. Fuck, that hurt. The hips, uh, that, they don't lie. That's That's a lot of exercise. See what I did there? Okay, really? You're just gonna ignore me? Fine. No. <laughs> Fine. Mm -hmm. Don't appreciate my amazing joke. Alright, let's fix your character. My check a rider does fly. Oh. Nice. So now you're planning on figuring out how much you can spend. <sighs> Fuka, don't spend the money. Keep it. I'm not. I'm gonna save it. Think of all the then... things we can go do with your small paycheck. And that wasn't a dick joke, I promise. Leave my tiny little paycheck alone. It's forming, okay? It's it's <laughs> accumulating, okay? <laughs> well, hey, you know that's what matters. Well, I think I might as well down what's left of this poor thing. There's, like, literally less than a teaspoon left of coffee. Shit. Mm. I'm gonna have a heart attack by the end of this. Can you, like, not drink so much coffee to kill yourself? I mean, dude, I didn't even... I thought I'd take this thing and drink it all day. That was my plan. I did oh, not God have plans to sit here and... Like, I've been sipping on it, but the problem is I keep sipping on it, so... Stop sipping on it. Well, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like the squeaky toys. If they're here, man, I'm gonna play with them. <laughs> Speaking of which, nope, she is not. Okay. God damn it. Well, I was checking to see if she texted me back. She must be still. <laughs> we heard your cake and tea. I'm not bugging her. I sent her a text earlier, and that's, you know, I've left it at that. You know, I've been learning. <laughs> Patience is not my strong suit. We all know this, but I'm working on it. Especially when I'm caffeinated. 
But if I get bad enough, what I'm probably going to do is maybe go up to uh, to Powell's later today and uh, go see if I can't pick up the PMP book. Or maybe I'll mm. borrow it from the library. That would probably be smarter, because then I don't have to pay anything. Because I'm looking at... Gonna... What? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, no. Um, You finish first. Oh, I was going to say, because I'm looking at if I can get this certification, it'll increase my wages starting out to about $120,000, I think, a year. Mm -hmm. Compared to the average finance major who makes about 70 to 80. Mm -hmm. Jesus. So, yeah. It really helps to have the certifications you can get. <laughs> but, yeah, no. Um, anything to increase my uh, employability as well. But you're going to be self-employed. Not at the start. No, I plan to work with a biotech company and work in their uh, in a finance department. If I can, I want to swing it to where I can work from home, so that way I can look at buying mm. land up in um, Montana after you are okay. done with college. But we'll see. Because I'm well, planning Montana. on Montana. Well, flat a lot of flat land and a lot of open lands, and it's cheap, so you can get big mm. chunks of land, and then I can start working on my castle brick by brick. Um, at that point, I'll probably either, I don't know if it'll be Montana or uh, like a state closer, or if I'll stay in Oregon and just move out towards like Mount Angel or somewhere out in the like for, uh, closer to central Oregon. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to stay near you and Wolf, but at the same time, I don't know, like my goal is still to get this castle built up. So, okay. um, but I'm not going to do it, you know, while you're in school, you know, I, like I said, I'm going to help you out while you're in school. So that way you have a place to live. Um, but if I can get uh, swing it to where I work in the finance department of a biotech company, then I can um, work from home, hopefully, after two years. And then uh, just start project managing for the team and running their um, Excel sheets. And mm -hmm. that, way, while you're, that way, while you're at school, I can, you know, do hang out at the house and do whatever. And then when you come home and if you finish homework, we can go out and do things. Okay. Plus, I have a feeling I'm going to be the main financial backer for when Wolf graduates, and we're going to go backpacking through Europe, which I've already decided is happening. Wolf has not denied yes. or refused it, so we'll start in Spain and make our way through and see where we end up. Okay. But it'll be when Wolf graduates, so it'll probably be during one of your summer terms. Uh, we'll probably ta have you take it off and then okay. just go hit school. Uh, go do it then. And if me and Rachel are still together, she might join us. If not, then we'll see what happens. Who knows? Yeah, I can see you two blossom. I'm not going to fuck into you. It's blossoming. A little bit, yes, but we know I've screwed it up before. Uh, very, uh, the very geological you structure. You screwed up because you went too open quickly. Yeah, that's true. Uh, for petals of red assures us... Ooh, just study it as an... Uh, the ISS leaf will have, have its 200 credits. Spend the okay, okay, so where's the notable landmark One you're second. at? Uh, spend energy credits to attempt to stabilize the planet in a more favorable state with roughly a 50% chance of success, or take... No, I'm going to do that. Alright, Um. so my landmark... Let me look. So, you, uh, the crossroads of Nebulus, I am, like, southwest of that as well. Hmm. Um... Oh, sweet. How far? Uh, many a planets away. Um, like, I'm actually... the edge of the galaxy I'm, far, Yeah, or? I'm at the edge of the galaxy, but I'm close... Uh, uh, I'm almost, like, completely left of the uh, horrendous dust clouds sector. Which is... Oh, so... Yeah, um, a few more down and I got you. Yep. Uh, let me get the science ship here. Go research... Oops, no, research that project, please. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm heading out. But yeah, so my plan at this point is where is to get a job with a biotech company because I've gotten a few offers, or I've got my great aunt helping me out with getting that stuff set up. I'm mm -hmm. going to go into that industry, work in medicine, because I love medical research. I find it fascinating as all hell. Um, and then once I'm done with that, I'll do that for about two to three years, maybe five years. Um, mm -hmm. Save up enough money to get the uh, brewing company fully up and going by then. Um, and then we'll open up a brewery and then kind of start working on developing you and Wolf's careers as much as possible. So that way we can start working at building a big umbrella business. Because okay. my eventual goal is to have a sort of business empire under the, what will be the Royce, uh, uh, house Royce umbrella, mm -hmm. which will be just basically, uh, like the background parent company that funds everything wherever we need money into. And then, mm -hmm. like, have multiple business fronts in different industries, so we can build a wide net to build up and build up from there. So yeah, 
I was thinking as my end goal to like, um, what is it, voice synthesizer disc things, mm -hmm. like in the music industry, mm -hmm. since uh, I guess that's going to be my primary focus after like doing psychology in, um, psychology in, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Just psychology. Well, aren't, and, <laughs> you, aren't you minoring in theater? Yeah. There was a program, I believe, in back with uh, my first college with a music program. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't take the opportunity because uh, I was shoved into uh, computer engineering by my, um, what's it called, it? guidance counselor. Oh, okay. So it was quite difficult. Well, yeah, I mean, if you want to go and if you'd like to go into psychology and have your own practice, we can work on that as well. Get that kind of set up for you. Mm -hmm. um, but because I uh, for Wolf, I know he wants to go work for this rocket company, uh, Blue something. Um, Blue Sky? No, I don't, Blue remember, uh, mm. I, I don't recall it off the top of my head. I know it's Blue something, mm. man. Um, and I don't know what if he what he wants to do as a side business. It sounds like he really is enjoying working in the um, like uh housing industry like working on buying land and building it up so, mm, so if we can get the um, brewery going estate? yeah uh real estate yes okay. so if we can get the brewery up and going and build that up to where it makes enough money then we can start uh funding um retail or uh housing land purchases for wolf so he can start working on building up houses and stuff like that um mm. and selling the land and then basically giving a cut to the main company and okay then from there, I'll be working on you and then Trent. Whatever Trent decides to go into, if it's his medical, then great. We'll work on him getting into whatever medical he wants to get into. Um, but that's kind of my goal, is to kind of build you guys into your own businesses and then put a big umbrella in the background to kind of move funds as we need it. Otherwise, mm. to have a big saving set up in the background so we can kind of do what the fuck we want. Um, okay. And get into different industries, so... I mean, and if Rachel ends up tagging along with our group, I mean, it'll be building her, uh, uh, she wants to get her um, piercing shop and tattoo shop as well as go work in weed again. So I was like, okay, well, we can do something like that pretty easily. Um, can't do it in Florida, but, you know. You can't? No, you can't. Florida hasn't legalized it yet. Um, oh. But, yes. What? Yeah, they haven't legalized pot in Florida yet, surprisingly. <laughs> I know, it's the weirdest damn thing. I don't get it either. Um, okay, continue. But yeah, so I talked to her about doing that, um, and that's kind of like my thinking at this point, is to build everyone up, and then, yeah, spend our time enjoying the wealth we've developed. By the time like, I'm 40, I'm hoping we'll have a big enough empire built up that we can pretty much go do what we want. And not The businesses will run themselves more or less, and we can kind of just have some fun. I've never wanted to work for my living. You know, that's my, my thought process. I want to do something I enjoy and make a lot of uh, make a lot of money so I can go out and enjoy life. Because, yes, you don't have to make a lot of money to enjoy life, but it makes it a whole lot fucking easier. <laughs> so, <It's> a... <laughs> you know. Oh, that's good coffee. Um, But, yeah, so that's kind of the current plan at this point is – work on that that's why i really wanted to go into finance because we can start financially planning out what we need and what like goals we're trying to hit and start figuring out okay here's where we need to go here's what we're looking for and stuff like that wolf's the easiest one to start with because wolf is the most business minded of all of us uh, well out of all of you compared to myself so i can start working with him and we can build up the brewing industry and then that goes into land land is always a profitable business Wolf likes construction and likes engineering, so, you know, he can do whatever the fuck he wants with that as long as he's making the money or making money for us, and we can go from there. So. Okay. And then, like I said, it'll be kind of depending on, we might, oh, we'll work with Cameron. Cameron might be a lost cause, but we're going to try. I really would like to get him into something um, that can help us out, even if it means he's working in, like, charity work with homeless people, whatever. Um, that would be fine, as long as it kind of builds up our own momentum. Yeah. Because I know his problem is he's not very goal-driven, but, I mean, I can make anybody goal-driven if I work at him enough. <laughs> I'm not the kind of guy who's just going to sit back and let this, like, slide. So, but yeah, that's kind of the idea right now. I mean, it's going to be, like, a good few years. I'm not expecting this to happen tomorrow, and I'm not working on this actively mm -hmm. right, right now, other than doing mm -hmm. brewing, but, you know. Eventually, that's the plan. So, right now, my main thing at this point is to finish up schooling, 
get myself a house or an apartment so that way that I can put your name on the lease and get you out here. Once that's done, then it's starting to save up money so we can start looking into the brewing company and start looking if we can't start doing pr financial deals with uh, brewing companies to get our meat in the door. I've got my buddy Mike who's also building up to become a, a – he wants to own his own bar one day. So mm. um, when he does that, that'll help me out because um, I can get my meat served in his bar. Um, and then – Otherwise, the only thing I'm trying to lock down now is like a stable girlfriend, that so I don't have to deal with any too much drama. With that in mind, then we're it's just waiting for the time for everything to kind of work out, work itself out. So it takes time, and I mean, I would love to be able to just say, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna sit down and get this done today and just work at it." But I learned that with my last business, it's you have to kind of accept the fact that you, it's gonna take you, you know, you have to work at it. You just can't do it in one day. No matter how much energy I have from fucking <laughs> this amount of coffee. Um, my heart is pulsating in my chest. I can fucking feel it. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, let's build up all that stuff. Okay. Oh, I've got my research done. Oh, yes. Automatic survey. Thank you. Alright. But yeah. Um, that's the current plan. I'd also love to go work in, with apiaries and get uh, a bee business working. That's another step I plan to go into. And of course, I want to go into the book industry. I don't want to. Apiaries? Yeah. Uh, bees. Like what bees? Oh, in. okay. That's the um, name for them. Got it. Yeah. I want to produce my own honey. Um, so that way we can start. That'll help the mead business and um, kind of work a little tall in the brewing industry, not as wide. Um, as the uh, other industries we're going to be working in. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, you know, to start out with, I think it'll be easier to build tall than wide at first. Cause I can have Wolf help me out with building stuff. Once I can afford to acquire land to get apiaries on and start a bee farm, I can use that to sell honey as well and get a bunch of uh, some greenhouses set up and go from there. Okay. There's a lot of work to be done. Um, you know, and I'm not writing it all down this time because I want to adapt as the situation goes on. I think when you start really hardcore setting out your plan, you need to make sure you already have like the kind of funding availability the available and the time available. While I'm in college, I don't have that time or funding. So, I mean, I'm making steps towards getting you out here by having you vacation out here and towards a stable girlfriend with Rachel, you know, trying to get that thing whole set up and ready, uh, uh, comfortable. Um, so both of us are happy and then just working from there. So, and then just making, continue to check up on you guys and making sure you're doing well in school and helping you out and everything works out perfectly. Like with Wolf, even though he's planning on heading out to Ohio, I think it was, mm -hmm. or yeah, New Zealand, you know, even with him taking a break from his schooling, it still gives us a chance to kind of still build. So, because Wolf is planning, I think, to buy land out there, um, which okay. would be, you know, valuable because he's already got land down in California. Which, funny enough, they told me why that uh, the the one dyke decided to grab him, uh, grab his dick. Apparently, it's because she thought he was rich and was looking for a sugar daddy. She didn't realize his assets are all in uh are not liquid, <laughs> they're <laughs> all in PP and E. So <laughs> I'm like, yep, yep, I feel you, man. That that's that can suck, cause like my liquid, I've got a lot of liquidity in my assets, but I most of my stuff right now is uh not as easily to get rid of. Um, so. But, you know, that was hilarious to find out that was why I was like, I can't believe she thought you'd be a sugar daddy. I was like, that just doesn't seem like you <laughs> whatsoever. Why would you pay for it? You can charm women's pants off with fucking jelly. <laughs> You're not going to let that down. Never. <laughs> okay, I have just finished off a, what is this? I don't know, what's a venti size? Mm. How much? Let's see. Let's see what, how so large a venti is. I'm curious. I mean, mine doesn't even have espresso and I'm this wired. Imagine what I'd be like with an espresso shot. Ounces in a venti. 20 ounces of coffee. Jesus. But they have a bigger one. No. The Trenta. Holy shit. I oh. would die. They also have the Sacenta. 
I'm not getting that much no. liquor. That that's a lot. It could the average stomach can hold about 900 milliliters of coffee or of drink. If I got 916 milligram or milliliters of fucking coffee, dude, you guys would kill me. I'd be fucking talking up a storm for hours. <laughs> I mean, like, that would be bad. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I can build up you. Let's um, upgrade you. Oh, I need 125. Oh, fucking production slow. Um, but yeah. So that's kind of the current plan is to move into that. And then, of course, you know, once we finish this book, which I'm thinking is going to be around 2,000 pages at this rate. Because as I was doing the math, I was like, okay, it's about 200 pages now. And we haven't even finished the current age. And we have how many ages to go through and do? <laughs> of information and stuff? I mean, we might actually have to make separate books for the different ages on their own for each of the races and stuff. So, are we going to have them, like, first person's perspective, or, like, a third person's perspective? Some of it will be in third person, some of it will be in first in person. Um, it kind of depends mm -hmm. on how you're writing it, and how your writing style goes. Okay. A lot of the stuff I've been putting in first person, um, but the way I'm doing it is very much, like I said, like a maester style of writing. So, uh -huh. it kind of, the book kind of flips both ways, and I think it kind of fits to the story overall. But I think, like, specific historical facts then may be more in a third person, and you can kind of see that with how I write some of the sections. But, mm. like, the nobility and such, you know, I wrote, okay, this is the founder of the house, this is the person who currently rules it, and so on and so forth. This is very third person-ish. But then, like, when I'm doing, like, um, the eight different ages, I'm doing them in, like, first person and explaining them, like, as a, someone who's writing historical facts on these. Mm. So, where are you compared to me? Jesus, are you still north of me? Yes, I'm sending one of my sign ships down. Okay. I'm probably going to find you at the most random time once I've got uh, automatic exploration. <laughs> God damn this coffee. I don't think I'm allowed to do anything else at this point. Alright, shared... Oh, you get shared stockpiles now. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so they've done a lot, interest, a lot of interesting work on this. Alright. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm looking at the planets and sectors thing. They've uh, fixed it up a lot, so... Mm. Like, you you actually have a way to do vassals and stuff like that now, too. Okay. Interesting. Uh. Ooh, excuse, excuse me. But, yeah. No, this will be very interesting overall. I think we can start kind of um, figuring out stuff as we go. And start kind of getting things planned with the future, like roughly. Like I said, the rough ideas right now are like going to Europe and backpacking through just to see stuff, um, get some experience, um, getting the group going to college and getting educated. You know, is another rough idea. It's like, okay, well, this is possible, <coughs> but you know, and it's happening. It's just we don't have to dig down and like, oh, let's write everything out. So, and I will keep talking on this as long as I'm wired. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Mm, wrong pipe. But yeah. Dude, I don't think I ever need any pre-workout. I'm just gonna take a venti coffee before we go work out. Fucking hell. I'll be so jacked by the end of it, you fuck, I'll be able to carry Wolf around. Mm, he's good boy. Well, you know. New frontiers established. Speaking of, uh, which? Oh, he's not online today. Complete. But King is. Ooh, my new colony is found. Yep, one of mine just found it as well. Alright, what do I need to get rid of? Oh, that's a thousand to get rid of that? Jesus. Missing technology, planetary resurfacing. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Um, Alright, let's build up our electric guide. And I can't build anything else. Uh, colony can't picked automatically. Okay, wait. So, let's see. I want this to be a mining world, I guess. What's wrong? 
Low colony automa uh, automaton stockpile. Colonies will up with automated development are low on resources. Oh. Interesting. Oh, okay, so I can actually just allocate resources to them. Okay, that's all right. Good to know. This is so cool. I can't wait to f mess around with this some more. Okay, what was I doing? Um, can I go and... No, I cannot build an outpost there. I still need about 35 more influence. Where are my damn... Uh, what are they called? Um, what are they flipping called? Uh, factions. We don't have any factions spawned yet, damn it. We need some fa oh, I guess I have to meet some other aliens first. That would help. Okay, so I'm going to turn that colony off that so that way I don't have to deal with it for right now. Whoa. But that's cool that we can start designating that out. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to run to the restroom again. God damn, this coffee's shooting through me now. <laughs> Ow, fuck. My <laughs> headphones. Ow. Be right back. Oh. Okay. Zap the top of my damn ear. Fucking god damn. That hurt. Damn. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I just suddenly feel the cord. Uh, I dropped the cord and it fucking pulled on the thing a little bit. I'm like, uh, it shocked me. Alright, well, whatever. Ugh. Is the stream still going at least? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Yes. Alright. I mean, I really don't care how long the stream goes for. The recording might be a little long, but at least now without the heat, I don't have to worry about you know, when I upload this, ta it taking forever. But if I upload a six-hour video, I don't care. <laughs> I will let it just down upload all day. <laughs> so. Okay, there we go. Oh, man. Okay, so what to build on this planet. So I already built all that. I don't need... I have housing, I assume, right? Where's my housing? Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. So I have 31 housing. I'm going to build the electrical grids so we can get more of those going. Since I'm not claiming any territories yet, let that build up. I guess I should build some items here. Let's build an energy grid. System survey complete. Sweet. Can we get that technology already? Come on now. And I still haven't found any dig sites, have you? Mm -mm. I only just found a gateway. Oh, okay. Maybe the dig sites pop after you get a certain tech. Okay. Um, Alright, so I've got 87 more months on that. Oof. Okay, whatever. That's gonna be a while. And I don't think I have any buildings I can build that give me influence. That's Unity. Um, let's see. Oh, I got two factions popped up. Uh, one oh. is called the Alien Suffrage Group and <laughs> Council of Technology. Did you find another alien species already? Not yet. They want one, though. Hmm. Uh, oh, I just found some alpha aliens. Alright, intriguing. Well, that gives me something to research. It's gonna take 15 months. Oh, well, that'll take forever, but oh well. Um, okay.
Okay, so I still can't do anything. I know once I start finding aliens, that'll be when I get, um, what's it called? Done. Uh, ooh, what the hell? Oh, it's, uh, the space amiibos. Okay, well, that's interesting. All right. Mining world's building up. It's been designated already. Oh, that's awesome. So this does designate it pre for you now, so you remember what you're building here. Oh, so oh, nice. I like that. So that way I don't have to remember what was I why was I building all this here? <laughs> okay. Now on the intergalactic market, let's go to anomaly found. Research that anomaly. Uh market, there we are. So I can start buying minerals already. Okay. Let's do that cuz I want to get this stuff built up. Alright, so that should be there. That can build wow. there. What? And another faction just popped up. The Order Society Coalition. <laughs> oh, gods. Okay. I am building minerals like crazy so we can start building up more items and get moving. Alright. Wow. So one of the requirements is ensuring a stratified society, be it through stratified economy, slavery, or even purging. <laughs> Oh we'll my god. <laughs> Fucking god damn it. Oh gods. Uh, okay, so. Resettlement allowed, orbital bombardment, war philosophy, liberation wars. We must further our own interest even when they run contrary to the interest of others. Claiming other systems is only allowed during the defensive war or against Gestalt consciousness empires. Okay. That's interesting. So I allowed me to I do. Found... I what? found two habitable worlds. Nice. Sadly, they're so far away from me. Well, I mean, you can make sectors now, so that's not that's the best thing. Um, yeah, but I don't want it to be defenseless. Okay, well, that's that's fair. So that's wealth creation. Trade value earns us one. Uh, oh, okay, so I can get more trade value from that. All right. Um, robotic workers allowed. Population court. Okay, slavery prohibited. Not allowed to purge people. God damn it, game. Um, okay, so you still can't automatically explore, so go there. Can I go claim this system now? Thank you. Because none of the systems down here are worth claiming at this point. Okay. I need more influence. Damn it. Oh. <sighs> Alright, let's see. So you're building up. Build another one of you. I've got an energy grid building. Oh yeah, what else was I going to build here? Um. Oh, I need amenities, so I need to do a hollow theater after this. Okay. That uses two consumer goods, but I need 270 minerals. Okay, that's fine. Not too bad. Um, okay, I can't do full. Okay, so that would cause plus 15%. Okay, that's good to know. Hmm, what's social welfare do? Okay, I'll have to set that up later. Speed up! There we go. What is the fastest way to bring up your energy points? Because I'm out of plus three. Uh, build energy um things. Uh, stations. Yeah, and then build a energy grid on your uh, planet when you where you have a lot of energy stations. Okay. Or generator districts. Yeah. Um. Can't set the colony designation on a capital world. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Our capital is known as Bismarck. We live in on the Germany planet system. <laughs> no reason why we'd ever go that way, and why we're totally not passive. Oh, we're totally passive these days. Um, uh, passive, he says. Mm-hmm. Hundred percent. Also, I don't think my leader will ever die. What do you mean? I mean, we're a plant-based species. So, 
Ah. Mm-hmm. I mean, we'll find out. All right. And he's only got one... Well, she's only got one agenda. I think that's a she. I don't know. It's an it. It's got the agenda for development of developed industry. But I think we're good on that because we're building up a bunch of mineral dist mining districts at this point. Okay. And I need more research. Oh, yeah. How goes the investigating that for the situation long? Okay, four more months and I'll get influence for it. That'll be nice. I should think of... Oh, God, it's already 11.49. I should think about what I'm going to eat for lunch. Um... Fuck. What's what's for a good idea for lunch today? Hmm. Let me see. Salad? No, I'm not craving a salad today. And I need to keep my calorie count high. Let's go on to Grubhub and see what they recommend. I can use, I'm going to use the emergency credit card cuz I was told I should. Uh, I could do cherries, but I don't want a burger. It just doesn't sound very tasty. I'm not doing Panda Express again, because... Mm, <laughs> <laughs> uh, too many carbs. Um, Old Chicago is disgusting. We will never eat there. Because um, uh -huh. I, I had a friend of mine who worked there, and they wouldn't let him go home when he was throwing... He was literally throwing up. They just told him mm. to get back to work. And I'm like, no, that's, that's not... Uh-uh. Uh, one of the many moons circling TM have terminal orbit. It will soon collide with the gas giant and what should become... Okay, cool. Uh, let's go and observe that. Hey, science ship. Your job is now to research that. Um, Taco time, Nick's Pizza, Bochi. I mean, Mexican sounds good, but... So is sushi. I can get heavenly donuts delivered to me. Oh, yeah, that would be such a bad idea. <laughs> um, Baja Fresh now delivers. Alright, well, maybe I should get a burrito. Baja Fresh to drink? Come. No, uh, Baja Fresh is a Mexican restaurant. Oh. Mm hmm. Um, I could do a spicy nacho burrito. But I don't feel like having fire come out of my ass. Um, Yay, I got a new ship. I got. <laughs> Should I just get lunch and dinner from this place? I will contemplate it. Here at 12.30, I'll make my decision. Yay, we've t I've taken over a new place. Uh, do I have enough yet to get the hollow theater? Nope, okay. If I can keep my people happy, they will make uh, their... They'll give me more stuff. And I have zero crime. Well, I guess that just goes to show. Special project complete. Which special project? Is it you? Um. Situation log update. I have a drone study thing to do now. What? Wait, what? Okay. Research that. 80 months. Take a science department with collecting and collating data relating to the ancient mining drones. Okay. Well, how does that affect my science? Well, that loses me that. Oh, I finally got a faction. Thank you. So I can start gaining more influence. Alright, sweet. Okay, so what sh should I get Mexican today? Hmm. does sound good. Question is, should I just get two things of Mexican for dinner and lunch, or...? Hmm. I'm gonna contemplate. Because I don't want sherries, I know that. That doesn't sound appetizing. Mexican sounds good, and getting a burrito is probably better than getting nachos. Um, less carbs in that. Since I actually have a reason now to get my gut back into shape, so that way... <sighs> oh, I can get, finally get rid of it and maybe pull off a four pack again. Because, you know, it's totally for you, Fuka. Gotta make sure you have something to look up to. Um... <laughs> Why do I feel insulted by that comment? 
I don't. Do you have a six pack? I mean, you're skinny enough. You might. I have a four pack. Wow, I'm impressed. Now, wait. Do you actually have work out to do to get it, or do you just you're just so skinny that it just mainly appears? Mainly through mainly through jogging and um, pass. Uh, what is it? Arm pull ups. Uh, really? The ones with the yeah. Uh, what is it? Um, what was that uh thing that you hang on to the door frame? Oh yeah, the, yeah. So you're doing pull ups or doing pull ups to mm. that? Wow. Well, that's fair enough. All right. I give you credit. I don't have the four pack yet. I've still only got the two pack. So. <laughs> I mean, I hey, it's fine. You can go. <laughs> you can. Um, try and look up to me now. Dude, if I do a door frame, uh, pull up, it's gonna, the fucking door frame's gonna break, so. I no, got. like, um, what's that thing you put on to I it know what first? you're talking about. You can put a pull up bar on it, um, and yeah, do it. Yeah, that. But what I'm saying is, I, if I did that, I would break the door frame. God damn it, Dan. I'm 209 pounds, dude. There's no way the door frame's gonna support my weight. I've met people who was like 350 pounds. That have done pull-ups? Were... Yeah. <laughs> I thought as much. Um, Shut the fuck up. Yeah, uh-huh, alright. Let's see, so if I did a Burrito Ultima... Let's make that two. I did both on chicken. Uh, and then did... Regular tortilla. Cost me 19 bucks. Let's see. $30? Fuck you. I cancel that. I'm not paying 30 bucks for delivery. I could walk there quicker. Alright. Do they have Arby's on here? That sounds good. God damn it, not Arby's. Dude, I love their turkey bacon ranch sandwich. Didn't you have a fucking stomach lining from that shit? No, that was McDonald's. Which I don't eat anymore. Oh, they I, don't... Thought... I thought you did. Mm -mm. No, uh, Mod Pizza and Arby's are the only ones I've had issues with. Uh, nope, they don't. Mm. Okay, well, if I eat a really big lunch, I should be all right. I'm not paying thirty dollars for a fucking lunch. That's ridiculous for one meal. Um, you can't do anything yet. Oh, you are supposed to be exploring that system. Um, okay. Let me think. Chuck E. Cheese. Oh God. Um. <laughs> God, if I want cheap pizza, it tastes like cardboard. Let me think. What else could I get? I could do. Is Friendly still operating? Huh? Just out of curiosity, is Friendly still operating? Friendly's, what's up? Like, okay, you know the um, what is it? That fucking logo. I wanna. Da -da -da -da. Nope. No, mm -mm. you never heard of it. Mm -mm. Not on here. Oh, damn. I thought they. Oh, that's right. You're on the West Board. Mm-hmm. But. Mm. Wait, and you called it what? Friendlies. Oh, okay, I thought you said Hardee's. I was going to say, that's Carl's Jr. right here. Um, yeah, no, never heard of it. You'll have to really? ask Wolf. He knows more about that stuff than I do. Huh. Okay. Alright, let's see. Um, deep fried oysters. Ooh. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, sweet, you're done with that. Start working on the minerals. Thank you. Uh, new faction has gained traction. Sweet. More factions to give me more influence. Uh, da, 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 go down, scroll down, scroll down. No, 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 no. Where's your platters? You pork. That's disgusting. How people eat that stuff, I will never know. Uh, no, not vegetarian. I actually have to eat protein, otherwise I get yelled at for that. Chow mein. Do you not have the platters listed anymore? Huh. 13 bucks for one, for eight pieces of sushi. Fuck. Alright, um, I'm no longer interested. 
Let me see. Cuisine. What do they got on offer? Okay. Don't want Asian. Don't want American. Healthy. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's see. What do they got for Mexican? That's good. Cha cha cha. La Peril. Parilla. I can't roll my R's. Um. Little taco te and tequila. Mm -mm, I'm good. So many Taco Bells. Mm. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'm hungry now, but I don't know what I want. God damn it. Ugh. Okay. You still there, Fuka? Mm hmm. Just listening to me bitch about why I what I want to eat? Yep. Basically. <laughs> well, you know. To be fair, all the strategy games we play together are a little slow, so, you know, can't expect mm -hmm. too much. Let's go here and take that, because I want that system with the nine energy credits. Um, can I build any more here? I can. We only have one amenity. Goddamn. And Bismarck is full. Oh god, why? Haha, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I guess she's done baking a cake. Um, all right. Do, do, do. I wonder if I can convince Wolf to come make me food. Um, <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, the ISS Leaf uh, has discovered a previously unknown strategic resource. Oh, sweet. We got... Oh, volatile moats. Yay. And I got rid of the tile blocker. Sweet. Um, peace festivals and additional edicts. Sure, why not? Because we are a peace-loving people, damn it. And now I'm out of... I'm running out of food. Oops. Why do I keep having these fucking habitable planets and I can't reach them? <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, well, I found four red habitable planets. A... Mm hmm. God damn it. <laughs> oh, and I'm closing in on you, so. Oh, that's, there. that's great. I'm closing the anus. Mm, no, you're not. <laughs> Press that shit open for me, baby. <laughs> no! God damn it. <laughs> no one wants to take take the log. Alright. Um... And you said you're west of Horrentus Dust Clouds, right? Uh, yeah, like directly west. Like, you can literally go straight west from that title and you will find me. Just making sure. Yeah. Because I'm on the edge. So. Uh... Is your, is your, um, what is it, system a class F star? Uh, n no. Uh, I don't know. How the fuck should I know? <laughs> girl. Oh my fucking god. Scroll out, okay. Uh -huh. Go back to a uh, galaxy map, and then go to your system. It okay. should have the uh, what uh type of um, it's an M star it class M star. Okay. Okay. Let me think. Um. All right. Back to the f the food. What the hell do I get? God damn it! I have permission to order whatever the fuck I want, but damn it, I don't know what I want. Why is life so difficult? Um. 
I don't want pizza. Th oh, that fucking pizza dude threw me, screwed me up so bad. Oh, it was rough. Now I know why Wolf said was didn't care if I got it because he knew I'd die from it. Oh God, never again. Also, why am I suddenly missing a ton of minerals? Okay, whatever. Hmm. All right, let's look at sandwiches. Southeast grind. All right, what is that? Uh, oh, they've got coffee too. I don't think I should get any more coffee today. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, hazelnut milk and two shots of espresso, a dirty lady. Oh, we will have to try that when you come up here, Fuka. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see, what do they got for lunch? Um, oh, it's okay, there we go. So, uh, grilled cheese sandwich, vegan grinder, ugh. Hummus among us sandwiches, fab tab. Fab tab doesn't look too bad. Ooh, the goddess sandwich, that looks pretty good. How much would that cost? Uh, a small short sh uh, transmission has been located on the surface of it appears to be ancient survey marker. Oh, okay. Well, that's great to know. By the way, how goes... Oh, 52 months on the drone study. Okay. Alright, how much is that going to cost me? That's $25! Fuck you! Uh -uh. Why is it that Panda Express is so much cheaper? I don't know. God damn. This is not encouraging good eating habits. They're making everything expensive, damn it. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Uh, Okay. God damn it. Uh, all right. Let's get Federation Naval Capacity. Yeah. I've got the peaceful tree all over. <laughs> all right. No, not getting a slice of pizza. No, I can't do. Stop giving me Plant Panda Express recommendations. God damn it. No. <laughs> Ugh. It wants me to eat it, Fuka. Look what it's doing to me. Um, little bear milk and tea. Rocky Fro Rocking Frog Cafe. Oh, wow. Uh, do, 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 25% off. Alright, let's see what they've got. Okay, I should be paying attention because I'm actually supposed to be doing things here. Um, I can't claim that system yet, but we can continue to research. You're going to build more energy. Oh, we are out of minerals. Oh my god, why am I at 22 minerals all of a sudden? I should be at like 60. I've built so many mineral mines. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. What do we get? Whole wheat, because I think that's better than sourdough. Let's go with turkey. Ooh, Swiss cheese. For eight ninety five, let's see what that cost to deliver. Nineteen dollars. God damn, that just still doesn't sound good. Hmm. So if you're heading my way, should I be concerned at this point that you're gonna be trying something here? Mm hmm. Do I need to build up a bigger military? Cause I mean, I will. Mm hmm. Fuka. You would tell me if you're planning on doing something suicidal, right? If I was, uh, if I was, you would have already caught it by now. I mean, that's only partially true because I'm only half paying attention at this point. So, 
That worries me a little bit. Uh. All right. Screw it. Oh, Bella Delphine just posted a video. That's great. Have you ever had bubble tea, Fuka? I want bubble tea. So you've had it, I assume? You've tried no. it? No. Oh, okay. I have never had it, so I've been always curious about it. And there's a restaurant in my school, in the building I go to class in, that makes it. I've never tried it, though. What so, is wrong with you? I don't know. I just It never came like was appealing overall, so I was like, eh, you know, I'll just leave it be. Not really interested. But maybe I should look into trying it sometime. You know what? I'm going to get a chicken bacon ranch melt. That's it. I'm, ma I'm just getting Subway. Fuck it. <laughs> I've given up. Oh, did that get saved? Oops. Um... Oh, fuck, it did save that card. God damn it. I really wish it hadn't. All right. Did you let it save? Yeah, at some point I must have accidentally not remembered to click the button. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, let's uh, not show my camera while I'm ordering food, even though I know it won't ever catch me. Well, it's a credit card in my hand. It's just a precaution. <laughs> Never can be too careful. All right. Let's... Grab the food card. And since I'm not doing anything actively, I think we're good. Please build that mining station. Please. Can you claim that system yet? No, I need 14 more influence. Okay. So the credit card number is... <laughs> what? There's nothing wrong with that. The internet would never steal my credit card information. <laughs> okay. Du -du 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 All right, proceed. Yeah, I must let it save. I mean, luckily, I'm not going to ever use this app, but I might clear that out later. Suck that did. Okay, so let's just place our. Yeah, that's only that's literally twelve bucks to have that brought here. Yeah, I might switch over to a subway diet again. Hopefully, they get the food right this time, though, because I've had that where they've like screwed it up in the past. Uh, succeed in isolating a signal embedded with the a usual pattern of interference. Oh, okay, so random research gained. Cool. So my food has been ordered. I'm just getting a sandwich. <laughs> Call it even. All right. And what was I doing? Besides, you know, planning your demise. Um, I knew I was going to claim the system. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I can't remember what I was doing. God damn it. Shit. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Um... Let's upgrade you. <laughs> Anomaly found. My <laughs> great aunt just texted me. Yum, subway. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> God damn it, I forgot to go straight <laughs> to your phone. <laughs> like, well, hey, you know, I was like, hey, you know, it was the cheapest they offered. It was, you know, everything else was 20 plus dollars. So, 
I'm like, you know what? Subway sounds fine. I don't think I can get yelled at for that one. Alright, those are upgrading. Sweet. Oh. Is that a real... That is a real octopus with fucking googly eyes on it. What? I'm watching Bella Delphine's latest video post, and it's an act it's an actual octopus. Like, an actual dead octopus that you would buy at a supermarket she's playing God with. Damn it. That's just weird. Oh. I saw on YouTube about this, um, what is it, Japanese model that bought, uh, a Jap- A living fucking octopus. Mm -hmm. And had it part of, um, her soft pornography modeling. Oh, no. And afterwards, they ate it. Ew. Yeah, they was, well, not, was it so? No, it was, um, her in full, full nude, I believe, while the octopus was on top of her. No, and, no, and no. And then afterwards, they ate it, saying it was delicious. I mean, hey, you stir, you, uh, fry it? Cook it up. I mean, I'd eat it. I like octopus. It tastes really good. But if it's on top of a naked woman, oh, I mean, I'll still eat that. Um, that might actually make it a little easier to eat. I would not eat it raw. Um, I mean, I don't <laughs> care for octopus sushi only because I don't like that the tentacles still suction onto you even when dead. I need more coffee. Oh, um, <laughs> but yeah, no. Mm, okay, well, that's good to know. Mm -mm. That would be a bit much, um, I'll be honest. Just because of the fact that I don't want to feel an octopus on top of me. <laughs> the sliminess from it and everything? No, no, not okay. <laughs> no. That would be... Um, mm. Okay. I'm checking my order details. All right. Yeah, just... That's not right. Mm, mm-mm. Just, no. No purges, and I need to establish a new, uh, people. Or I need to find a new alien for my first faction. The other one allows AI. Oh, I'm already building AI as we speak. How do you build AI? Like, I've never, do you have... Robotic workers. How do you, how do you get that? Did you get a tech for that? Um, yeah. It's on tech. Engineering. Hmm. I haven't it gotten that tech yet. It should be either the second pop-up after you finish the first one, or um, probably I mean, one of the traits you have. I don't think I got that tech option at all. Mm. For engineering, yeah, I'm working on uh, Nebula's, or, uh, sorry, Zero-G refineries, so. Look at it. Um, well, go to change research to see if it's there or not. Uh, let me look. Change research. Nope. Mm. Yep. So, oh well. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not really bothered because I'm going to be playing as a xenophile anyway, so I'm going to be bringing people into my kingdom overall, or my empire. So, no big issue. Assimilate, assimilate. Pretty much. Everyone needs to become part of the great pacifista. Or pelfista. <laughs> the pelfista Peace Corps. They must all know. You haven't came into any contact of aliens lately? Nope. Not a single alien has come to me yet. Damn. Oh, man. Alright. She is working, so I'm gonna leave her alone then. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just too lazy to walk down the subway. But to be fair, 12 bucks, that's... It's about five dollars to uh to order there, yeah, usually. So I mean, I'm spending about six bucks for the delivery fee overall. I'm okay with that. I just don't feel like running all the way down there today. <laughs> I'm so tired from my workout this morning. Also, did I ever discover what those aliens' vessels were? No, it's not gonna let me know. Okay, well, whatever. And then, 775. Okay. Um, Bismarck. Okay, now that we have amenities again, do I want to chance losing the consumer goods at this point? I'd like to get a mining refinery, but uh, I don't have that tech yet, so we're just going to wait. 
All right. What about you? Can't do anything yet. Anomaly found. All right. Sweet. Research that. Please get me a dig site sooner than later. That'd be great. At some point, you know, do something. Oh, I guess I can go buy some more minerals. Oh my god, I just bought a thousand. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but that works. So I was watching um, Last Man Standing the other night. You know, I'll be honest, as much as Tim Allen is still considered an asshole by so many people for his sexist views, I still love him as an actor. I'm not a big fan of Toy Story. <laughs> Um, you know, past the first one, the second one wasn't bad, the third and the new one just looked god-awful. Um, but, you know, him in fucking Home Improvement, I always loved him in that. I can't wait to see, or I love seeing him in Last Man Standing. The guy's hilarious. Plus, Eve, his youngest daughter, is cuter than hell. She's gonna grow up to be a gorgeous young lady. So, and the middle daughter's kinda hot, too. I don't know why, though, that they switched out the original actress for the oldest. I would be curious to find out what happened with that. Because they replaced her like mid season or, or like in middle of uh yeah I think one of the seasons, and got her replaced with this like a lot bustier of an actress like she's a little bit thicker overall, and it's a very obvious change of an actress. It's not like the subtle hint, you know. It's like almost as bad as the Spartacus situ uh, Spartacus situation, <laughs> but at least in that excuse, the guy had passed away unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, that, mm, I didn't really care, I not, do not like the new actress in it, the old, for the oldest star, she's just kind of whiny. I mean, mm. if I want to listen to someone whine, I'll go listen to one of my YouTube streams, um, if I'm 100% honest, but, yeah, ugh, overall, it was just, it was interesting. Not my cup of tea for her, but, yeah, definitely an amazing show still, I'm quite surprised. Ugh. <sighs> I really think I should make more coffee, Fuka. Yeah, sure. Go risk your heart attack. Well, I'm not saying right now, but maybe in like two hours, you know. When I'm working on nothing but lore. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Well, you know, we gotta get that lore done, man. We've got so much to write. I mean, I'll have probably about a good 20% of it done by... Uh, I'll probably have most of the races done by the uh, time... By the end of the summer, I think, because of the fact that I'll be, uh, for the current age, uh, to clarify, um, just because of the fact that I'll be dealing with, um, what's it called, uh, work, working nine hour shifts every week, so. Mm. Okay. That'll give you something to work on, and then we gotta work on that one age thing, so. Which, which is gonna. One? Uh, all of them. But I'm saying, like, we're gonna have to work on the, uh, the, the, si the silence, yeah, the silence stage for okay. your story. Get that done so we can get the rise of Yoin. I'm kind of trying to make Yoin the son of a god from the pre or a uh, arch fiend or arch demon in the uh, previous um, time period. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's kind of how I'm thinking it'll work overall. Um, oh sweet, my other colony just established itself. All right, can we get rid of anything? We can get rid of one thing. Wow, that's a lot. Three active volcanoes. Holy shit. A closer scan of the debris field around Cranvis B has led to the discovery of an airtight capsule containing an atomic clock that measures time with unparalleled precision. It's a bomb. Destroy it. Uh, let's let it tick tock. I want to find out what happens. When it blows up, it'll be funny. Let's find out it's a bomb and it destroys the entire pop. I mean, what's new? Wouldn't be the first time it's happened. It won't be the last. Oh, uh, it's prepared. Alright. Oops, let's update that so it's being prepared. Tinder, your daily, your daily top picks are ready for your top viewing. Fuck off, Tinder. Leave me alone. Okay. I have just glitched Grubhub. There we go. Um, I guess I can uninstall Tinder at this point. Now that I am dating your friend. So do you feel proud now? Hey, Wingsman. Wingsman feels proud. Tell it doesn't last, and then I, you know. Although I'm not bringing her into the D and D games yet. 
I'm gonna wait a while for mm. that one. For the D and D ones, I would say make a new group. Yeah. If you like, yeah, make a new group. That way, um, there's, there's no wolf. A, sure. Not that, because wolf's gonna be there and bugging the shit out of you. Yeah. I'm saying, um, so there's no power dynamic. Oh, well, that's fair. Guys. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, let's go ahead and build you up, get a shipyard and an ink. Oh, I can't afford an anchorage. Okay, fine. Okay, so we haven't finished scanning that. You're still scanning. Okay. All right, so much work to do, so little time. Hmm. I'm trying to think, is there any other games we also own together other than CK2? Left 4 Dead, I guess, would be uh, the only other yeah. thing. Yeah, Left 4 Dead. Uh, what are the games you have? Uh, let me look. Let me pull up my Steam library. Uh, let's see... I have... Oh, Battle Brothers needs an update. Um, Battle Brothers, I'll be on online. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, I'll be on. So. Yeah, but... Eh. Uh, Dead Island yeah. Definitive Division... The uh, Definitive Edition. Dead Island... Or uh, Divinity Dragon Commander. Um, Dragon Age Origins, which isn't multiplayer. EU4. Oh, God, EU4. Um... Galactic Civilizations 3. Oh, I have that. I hate that game. Uh, <laughs> I hate that game with a passion. Graveyard Keeper. Uh, I never understood the mechanics. So. No, neither did I. Don't feel bad. Um, Massive Chalice, Warband, uh, Reigns, Rimworld, which we both have, but I don't think you can play co-op in Rimworld. Um, I don't. Um, I want to get mountain land mountain blade warband isn't a bad game i mean i enjoy it you can well when you come over you can play it on my pc and see if you like it mm. oh just threw my coffee cup at myself god damn it um <laughs> let's see valkyrie chronicles xcom 2 total war shogun 2 total war medieval 2 total war tilla uh, that's a lot of Total Wars. Yeah. For someone that doesn't like Total War. Rome, Total War, Rome, Total War, Alexander. Um, that's a lot of Total Wars for someone who don't like Total War. So I bought it as a pack because uh, I wanted to play the Shogun game, and it was good. Um, I just not my thing. Um, in the end, so yeah, that was uh, it was interesting. Do, do, do. Okay. Um, let me think. I mean, we could play L four uh, L four the uh, L four D two later, but we'd have to get Wolf involved probably. I know we could probably grab Robert because today is Friday, mm -hmm. so I think his wife's at work, but he might also be at work. So, yeah, who knows? Maybe we'll just chill later. Because I might jump back onto CK2 and continue my campaign of ca crushing the uh, uh, Muslim, you know, war front in mm -hmm. Europe. Because the Umayyad completely took over Europe in my playthrough. Damn. Yeah, I've been pushing them back. I finally got uh, Aquitaine on my own through Great Qu Conquest. And then uh, we regained Germany and Austria through... Um, What's it called? Uh, Crusades. So, and then I took uh, Adel Adelasia through uh, another great quest. So, did okay. didn't do too terrible. You know, it was it could have been worse. I still not <laughs> gotten. God damn! I need automatic exploration. Where is it? Uh, technology. Oh, it's five months away. Off. God damn it! What? I'm looking at the expansion planner and seeing um, the eighty percent one. Mm -hmm. Fucking has poor quality material. Yeah, yeah. I have not tried to mess with any of the expl. Uh, yeah, that is colonized. Yeah, that would help. No rare. What's a rare deposit? Hmm. Interesting. Distance. Oh, okay. And, oh wow, that's actually useful. I didn't know that th that's what the expansion planner was. Mm -hmm. I just learned something. That's interesting. Okay. What? I didn't know that what expansion planner did. I've never clicked that button. Oh, the expansion planner. Yeah, it basically shows like um 
what it is mm -hmm. and what the modifiers are for it. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. Well, fair enough. Yeah, I don't usually use that. Oh, there's a desert world there too. Great. Um, do I need to build anything at this point? I don't think so. I could get more minerals. Let's do that. I have a lot of uh, energy credits right now, so... Um, you can go and claim that system right now. Even if it is a two energy system. And sectors wise, I'm only a little bit over my capacity. Okay. Be nice if I could get the mineral thing for this place, but I don't think I'm going to get that. Wow, really not making that many minerals here. I'm only producing two. Okay, well that makes sense. Hmm. Hey, if it, if I find you, I could trade you like at least 10 plus uh, monthly for my because I have 33. I've got, oh, I, I have 31 myself. It's just I'm wanting more. You know, Can you give me some energy credits? Because I'm at negative four. <laughs> oh, wow. That's that's bad. No, I just spent all my energy credits, honestly. So, I'm making 64 a month right now. How? I'm trying to do it by like going to the bases and getting that shit done. You probably have more ships like... than I do. So. Eh, that could be the... Yeah, that's... I mean, I've only yeah, got five ships, so... Yeah. I, I built some ships, and I repaired another one, so yeah, that might be the reason. Yeah, make sure your ships are also standing uh, or uh, at the uh, station, so that way they don't charge you. Yeah, they're at the stations. Okay. Because as I was gonna say, that can also cause issues. Alright, when it comes up to lunch, I'm going to go down there and head, and so that'll be when we stop the stream and game. But I gotta wait till this thing launches. Okay, so this is 1245 to 1255. Okay. Oh man, if only Rachel was out here. God damn it. God damn it, why? Hey, you're, it's your fault. And I'm proud of it. I'm. Mm. Oh, it's already done. Holy shit, my robots are done. Oh, nice. I still have not gotten robots. Uh, let's see. Research station output would be nice. Let's get that going. Nice. Now I can put you on automatic exploration. Finally. Now for the robots, how do I do that with them? What do you mean? Like I've got the tech done. I think but... you have to build a robot assembly on your planet. Uh, oh, so that's on the um thingy. Yes, that's on the uh buildings tab. You should be able to scroll through and see a built like robot assembly thing. Should be looking like a big engine. Yeah, I saw it. Yep, then that'll let you start producing robots as well as pop. Yay! Mm hmm. Although I don't know. Oh, some kind of burrowing silicon based life form inhabits. Oh, no, not more fucking. No more mini Fukas. We don't need to deal with that this time. Yes! Benny, I will guys. kill them again. No. <laughs> we will wipe them out yet again. Why, why do you attack my race, my children? Because they they blow up my planets. <laughs> remember the Fuka drug? Yeah, oh, I remember that. <laughs> I also remember accidentally clicking the button and turning my, peop my dwarves into fish people. <laughs> Fucking that weird... <laughs> Weirdest event I've ever had. Like, oh yes, you have finally unlocked. Yeah. Genetic realteration is like, oh, now we're all fish people. Great. <laughs> fish dwarves. Mm-hmm. That could be a race. Quick, it... throw a dwarf in the ocean. <laughs> That's not how it works. Um, <laughs> am I working Monday? Let's see. I don't think so, right? Nope, I'm not. I work Tuesday. Make plans. Alright. My little sister and I are going to go buy pot and hang out on Monday. Gay. So, did you say gay or K? K. 
Oh, okay. Because I was going to say, those, those give two different meanings to the conversation here, buddy boy. God damn it, Dan. Well, I mean, she is gay. Thought she was bi. I mean, that's still technically gay. System survey complete. Touche, motherfucker. Touche. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to teach your D&D stuff on uh, Monday after we go get weed. I mean, would you not admit that technically you have slept with men? I'm, I'm admitting it? Okay, so if you admit it, then, then that means that you are technically gay as well as straight. That's, you know, that's what bi is. <laughs> did I already tell you I said I'm confused? Yeah, you did. But that's okay. We already knew you were confused. Fuck you. Oh god, this thing, the coffee cup smells so good. There's no coffee left in it, but it smells good. Down, boy. Down. I'm not making any more. I'm done for the day. I'm gonna do lore work probably for the rest of the afternoon and just try and slam it as much as I can. So I might jump into uh, general later when I'm working on stuff, or I might just put on music and sit there and write. Or both, who knows. Because I found a pretty interesting playlist, so. You'll never guess what it's called. What? I am the king. <laughs> uh, I can tell by your silence you are completely shocked that that would be the case. Construction complete. More like, yeah, I kind of figured. Mm -hmm. That's what everyone tells me. Hey, uh... got a stranded scientist. Come join me, you crazy bitch. <laughs> That's not nice, Fuka. We don't call them that anymore. Hey, she wanted to join. It's her fault. <laughs> Again, that's not how we do things now. God damn it. Oh, cool. My order's on its way, so I'm out. Okay. I'll save the game and we'll continue on later. I'll call it Fuka. All right. Oops, here, let me pause the game. There we go. Now I will save it. Save. Alright, we'll play some more probably later, either tomorrow right. or later in the week. Exit game. Thank you all for watching the stream and watch the YouTube recording. I know all one of you. Have a good evening and see you next time.